Welcome, everyone, to the Major Wrestling Fear Podcast. My internet is back, Jack, and I am your host, the internet champion, the indie god, the deathmatch king, always ready, Matt Cardona, a.k.a. the $1,000 broski, a.k.a. the Michael Jordan of wrestling figure collecting. And I am your host, the most professional wrestler, Brian Myers, TNA, superstar, and the Scotty Pippen of wrestling figure collecting, and your new look at that tna wrestling tag team champion of the world what's up everybody huge congrats brian for sure Thanks, guys so are you now a two-time tna tag team champion? i am a two-time tna tag team champion wow That's and i'm pretty champions cool. with the guy that i beat for the belts the first time look yeah. at that oh wow how about that I'm also here to produce the show, Smart Mark Sterling Esquire, the most famous professional wrestling lawyer. And this show is brought to you by our good friends, Ringside Collectibles. Use code MAJOR to save 10%. Guys, Ringside Collectibles, we got we got some news this week. There's going to be a very nice exclusive of a hmm? pre-order, but Brian's very holding nice another very exclusive. Evil. I don't know which one it is. It could be both. But oh. Brian's got another exclusive that's in stock now. Little Coming up guts. later we'll in the show, that, live right? unboxing the brand new Brody King, Darby Allen Blood and Guts, exclusively from Ringside Collectibles. Follow us on X, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube at Major WF Pod. Subscribe to this podcast wherever you get your podcast. Follow this podcast, subscribe, whatever it's called, and leave a review. Not just any review, but a major review. If we read your review on air, you will get a prize. Chris Risley, you're right. The high speed <laughs> internet champion. I was just Faster thinking that intro. Mark. How are we call how are you calling yourself the the internet champion for all these weeks with the worst Wi Fi? I know, that was the joke. Florida. I, I blame Spectrum. <sighs> I blame Spectrum. But um yeah, I was gonna sell my, my modem and router on whatnot. <laughs> but I decided I'm going to keep well, it because when I, you know, when I move out of this house, you know, the spectrum's included. So I want to keep the modem and router for those peons who have to uh, move in here. I was wondering what, what's holding you back. Okay, gotcha. Well, they're not going to get my fucking my AT and T. You know what I'm saying, Jack? So when All Mance right. and uh, SDL move in, they got to use the spe- back to the spectrum. <laughs> Fuck. All right, <laughs> at Ted the Sock, I asked AI to write a hashtag major review. Well, I got this. Okay. All right. So the past couple of weeks, the reviews have been so good that we've kind of suspected it was AI. It wasn't, but this one is AI. Okay. Okay. okay at least he admits so this, it. Is this our first official AI? No, no. no there there was, was one. We've had one, right? Yeah. yeah. There was one. Yeah. Get ready to show your love for wrestling with this fantastic, <laughs> with this fantastic mask. Perfect for fans of the major wrestling podcast. This mask is sure to be a hit at any wrestling event. Made with high quality materials, this mask is durable and comfortable to wear. Whether you're a collector or just looking for fun addition to your fan gear, this mask is a great choice. Show off your love of wrestling and the major wrestling for podcast with pride when you wear this mask to your next event. So that that was a review of all the uh, revolting blob masks that shoes sold at Toy Hio, I guess. Or all those COVID masks that we sold back then. Oh, day. God. Damn, True. that uh, was not the, the correct. I don't know what AI he used, but it, it was broken. Didn't work, pal. The AI on eBay to to write the description is unreal. Like it's, it's unreal. good? Yeah, it's sick. You just click a button and it writes a description of your item. I mean, in milliseconds. Oh, that's right. great. It's wild. If you know how to use AI or use the correct uh, things, it can be perfect. But then, obviously, sometimes it does not work. All right, the giveaway every single week, courtesy of Ringside Collectibles. Last week, it was the entire D Generation X retro set. All you had to do Maybe. was find the pin tweet, pin post on X. Winner at the Jeffhausen. This week, it's for 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 life. The NWO retro set. So just find the pin post on X, repost it to be eligible to win that. Majormarks.com, patreon.com slash major WF pod the fan club subscription service the family you gotta sign up today you get this podcast early and ad free every week access to the facebook group you get the cards every single month if you're in the heart foundation up march has a brand new card february card and the autograph version shipping out this week right mark Mm -hmm. and then we have two bonus episodes already recorded we have the wrestlemania 35 recall called the major moment watch a major moment 
Hawkins the Rider against The Revival. We do a little watch along, and then we just did it tonight with Captain Joe's Shoes. We all watch The Princess Bride. Deep Freedom pops in. We talk about all the figures of The Princess Bride. If the movie holds up, what we think about it and review the figures, it's a it's a must listen, in my opinion. Also, new and old subscriber there, bros, can we give a, a little prize? Uh, yeah, who, first time in the line Mark? this week is Neil Godsey and the classic superstar guys, Kim Schwarnenberger. Oh, wow. <laughs> Schnarrenberger. <laughs> Nailed it. Schnarrenberger. Uh, uh, guys, a lot, of, a lot of bonus stuff. Major gal there, by the way. Yeah, you get that, that might be a first. You get Brian's selfie of the week. I know we're all you know we're all waiting every single week patiently for that. You get oh wait 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 wait. Funny story about that. <clears throat> so Brian every week sends me a selfie into my phone. Okay. Sometimes it's literally I go hey Brian send me a selfie. He's laying in bed and he'll send me a selfie with his head on his pillow. Okay. So the other night we're at the Beyond Show. We'll we'll talk about it in a little in a little bit. I say to all our friends, all the cat people are there. I say, guys, Brian won the belt. They're like, oh, wow, that's so cool. And then uh, somebody goes, let's send him a picture of all of us together. I was like, great idea. <laughs> so we take a picture, and uh, all the guys are huddled around me, you know, we're, and my, I've got my phone, and I open up my chat with Brian, and it's just a selfie from Brian laying on his pillow. <laughs> <laughs> and the guys are like, you and Brian are that close? Like he just he just sends you. Wow. I I don't send my wife stuff like that. Bedtime selfies, yeah. and I'm like, oh yeah, guys, look at all these. And I'm scrolling through the chat, and it's just tons of selfies of Brian. It's brutal. <laughs> Damn, son. Uh, I explained the whole thing to him, but that's that was a funny side about. I have so many fucking selfies of Brian Myers in my phone. And then I sent back a brand new selfie with the uh, TNA tag title. The strip and, and a little yet. caption that Mark and I will keep to ourselves. But you ordered yeah. that replica yet, or what? Uh, I mean, I know the guy. I'll get on it. I, I'm, 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 I already would have had it fucking ordered. So I'm a more of like when you lose it, order it guy. Nah, it takes forever. You get it right. As yeah, as I got the real deal at home, baby. I don't need to. You know, it's no rush. Okay. Fair. Um, all right. So you get silver linings with Smart Mark. Let him breathe. Myself. Figure dissecting with the freedom. I was about to say uh, go in postal, but he he jumped ship. We don't have him on <laughs> Captain's log with Joe's shoes. Mm-hmm. Well, who did the captain have on his log in in February? Who did he had Swaggle on? But he's going to have Moose on Moose actually. in March. I'm a live text Moose here because I couldn't tell him that actually. I keep forgetting. And then oh baby, he's happy hour. Mark, what are you guys discussing this month? We're going to continue on his uh, his career path, right? So nice. we really only touched on like just dabbling into the business like just getting started so we we really did not talk about any kind of developmental stuff or anything like that so we're gonna continue on with that next Very month cool. or this month all right guys we've got some follow-up this weekend of course you know brian tell us about it tag team champion of the world let's go baby what is what a spear 15th annual tna sacrifice uh you know the system was rocking and rolling man we're just doing what we've been doing dominating tna wrestling uh we had a pretty decisive win over ABC in a six-man tag already, so we got a title shot. And uh, me and one, one of my best buds, Eddie Edwards, a guy which is pretty cool. You know, I was an admirer of Eddie before I even met him. Met him, became buds. I think the world of him as a person and as a pro wrestler is just the man. So that part's uh, pretty freaking awesome to be tag team champion with him. We had a crazy match. I had my first, uh, I would say, viral clip of me wrestling <laughs> ever. <laughs> With that spear I did on the apron, like, I've never had something. Now I kind of get why all these idiots, you know, they call people, you know, gif wrestlers or gif wrestlers, whatever you want to call them. I kind of get it a little bit now because, man, it was like people from all over were texting me and messaging me that, like, going nuts about it. People, parents of my kids' school, I didn't even think watch wrestling since it's stuff to me about it. Wow. Spear. Like, not that I won, but that spear. So that was. uh, It was a great spot. It was pretty interesting, yeah. But also, I mean, there was moves from that match, too, that. You were taking that were going viral too. Like there was a lot of cool things from that match. Yeah, you man. Taking uh, that Chris cutter? Bay and Ace Austin are ridiculously talented, <laughs> very athletic. You know, um, it was just a lot of fun. It was perfect, man. It was a great. I couldn't couldn't have asked for a better weekend, better experience. Um, I'm pretty grateful. So I'm looking forward to the future. Can I ask? Who, who's got who's all the gold. Beer was. Uh, it actually was Ace Austin. Pretty cool. So, and I, I'll give a. 
a shout out to Heath, who messaged me last time. We did the spear on the apron last match, but it was just a regular one. And Ace, I'm really going to blame Ace. He like came at me way too much, and there was no room on the apron for me to run to to like really get him. Yeah. So like I, it's kind of a really wussy run, and I fucking spear him, and Heath like clipped it, like sent to me, made fun of me about it. So I half had that on my on my mind when I just fucking went balls to the wall to kill him in that fucking <laughs> handstand because Heath was ball busting. So shout out to Heath on that one. Wow. Well, you know, Mark and I, we were in Boston, Massachusetts for Beyond what Wrestling. What a show, man. Did, did Drew kiss your feet for drawing the biggest house of all time for him, Broski? <laughs> he did not, but, you Fuck know, he up. padded the low, but that's all that matters. <laughs> and Broski and, bought uh, um, Kowloon's for the entire um, locker room. No, I know Andy supplied that, and Broski had nothing to do with it. But, <laughs> but Drew did tell all the wrestlers, I, I think as a rib, that Broski provided People it. People so everybody... up to me thanking me for it. <laughs> <laughs> that's even... More, but I'm surprised Drew didn't take credit for that. I'm shocked. I'm shot but hey, thing. what a turnout. The fans were rabid. You know, uh, myself, Mark, VSK. Unfortunately, we we did not walk out, you know, victorious. Alec mm. Price, he, uh, you know, there was some collusion at the end. You know, yeah, VSK man. got involved. Smart Mark, I, you're never going to believe this, Brian. I inadvertently hit Smart Mark with the no. internet title. I Not knew it you. was coming too, and I somehow I couldn't get out of the way. Inconceivable! Inconceivable! <laughs> In my opinion, the referee should have disqualified you guys for pulling him out of the ring. I should have lost via DQ, not pinfall. Mm. What, what was up yeah. with VSK's outfit? He looked adorable. A little short round uh, cosplay. Short round. Got it. <laughs> I By said that way, VSK is a joke. You should dress like this, and he said, "I'll put it together." And I was like, "All right, cool." Can you put Chris Grocox's comment on the screen here? Got to meet almost all the cat people at Beyond. Bronson and Gabby didn't come out for autographs. Bro, I do looked at Bronson after and I said this. Guys, yeah. I will let's let's put a pin in this and I will save this autograph talk for my QA later. Okay. Oh man, okay. Gallows. I'm gonna go off Gallows later in the QA. Named Bronson for that. Bro, over I'm gonna a, a lot of people in the QA. So Bronson let's, has let's, never uh, cared about the money or the the merch or anything he has never tried okay he never tries even pro want, after want to he has save the bury it for later You're all right <sighs> there's more anyway, to it than there's it, more to it than money is all i'm trying to say well it was it was a great show uh, you know uh, there was 2000 uh 330 people 2330 people bought tickets to this event now they were all not wrestling fans Okay. They were at a brewery for St. Patty's getting this is, There was another tent with a band in it. You know, you could go wherever you want. This was um, is a really Got cool it. setup. However, I would say there was probably 500 rabid wrestling fans, 500 beyond fans, and then they drove the show for the other people that were in there. You know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah. it just created a great atmosphere. Yeah, cool. to me, I know you're, you're saying 500, but and I guess there's no way to really tell, but it felt like everyone was into it. Like, you know? Oh, like, yeah. No, no. I, that's what we, I'm saying. We've all wrestled at a fair where, or like access where no one gives a fuck. <laughs> I didn't have that feeling at all. That's because I feel uh. like the 500 Beyond fans were driving the other people. You know, like you when you don't know, but when the Beyond know. fans are doing this, they, go, they, they start doing that. When they start saying fuck up or shut the fuck up to me. Then everyone's like, "Oh, that's a great chant. I'm going to say that." You know, right. so that's like early Crayper shows when the crowd was only like MJF's relatives and they had no idea how to react. Yes, and, and like, then Mikey Mittens, we gave him a free ticket once so that he could run the fucking crowd. <laughs> literally, Jesus. literally, Spoiler. we had to do to educate people. Like, it's okay to be rude and scream. That's what you're allowed to do with this. You know, exactly, exactly. Well, the next day, I flew from Boston to Vancouver, Canada. You know, nightmare hate Canada. flight. That God. sounds terrible. Sounds For so rough. ASW in Vancouver, Canada. I wrestled Sebastian Wolf, who honestly never heard of before. And after wrestling him, I'm actually shocked I've never heard of him. Really fucking good. Tall cool. son bitch. Tall uh, son I bitch. beat him. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm the, the indie god. <laughs> oh, by the way, but, hats uh, off to Alex Price, too, by the way. Uh, Alex what's Price that? And beyond, Alex Price and beyond. Hats off to him. Great, uh, Alex Price, great opponent. He, bro, impromptu fucking gave him a little handshake in the middle of the ring. I was impressed. How how was his pre match rap to himself? Well, Jay George filmed the whole thing. He's doing another documentary on this match. I'm sure you'll see it. <laughs> oh wow, what incentive! Holy cow. yes, but I don't yeah, have fans uh, ever. Mark, I mean, I don't know much about Alec Price. Have fans ever seen that, or is this something the boys have seen? I don't know if that has become 
legend up among the fans, to be honest. Wow. I don't know. However, well, it, when he well, was it's doing about it, to be. he was doing it in a tent, you know, like a side tent inside the tent. And I'm I'm thinking to myself, they they, they, they hear him doing this, you know, it's like you can't <laughs> Right. No one's paying know. attention to that though, Mark. That's well. true. That's true. It could have been just somebody yelling, but yeah, that yeah. was the uh, that was the place, man. It was it was awesome. Incredible venue, incredible setup. Yeah, anyway, ASW, uh Vancouver, Canada, hell of a show. Uh, I made a lot of money at the merch table, which I really enjoyed, but I was so in and out. I was like in Canada for 15 hours, basically. <laughs> but yes, Sebastian Wolf, uh, I think you'll be seeing a lot of this guy in the, uh, the, like the what was it, Northwest area? And hopefully it'll trickle down. Sebastian Wolf? Sebastian Wolf. Never heard of him before, like I said. I was asking about, he's a dual citizen. I'm like, oh, what are you doing in Canada? I fucking come to the States, dual citizen. We're, you work here legally. We're the Bollywood boys in attendance. Bollywood boys were not there, but I had a lot of people burying them to me, which I enjoyed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't show up, take a picture with you, and act like, well, like you guys were hanging yeah. out. But yeah, so oh. I don't know where this match with uh, Sebastian Wolf is, but I think you guys will enjoy it. Uh, I was victorious, but he did, you know, I, I I tried to shake his hand after, like Alec Price, but he gave me a spear, that son of a bitch. Oh, damn. On the apron, yeah. upside down on a car wheel? No, no, just in the ring. <laughs> that hard ass cool. fucking ring. I think it's from like 1960. I felt every fucking bump in that ring. Jesus oh, Christ. Man. But ASW Vancouver, I'll be back soon, hopefully. Um, but yeah, so that was it for me. And um, just two days. Just two days oh. on the road for me. And Mark, you taped collusion, so you were off? Well, yeah. So I went from the collision in Atlanta to the Boston show and then Saturday and Sunday off. Sweet. Nice. Uh, I was just me and my daughter on Saturday. We watched those two Into the Spider Verse movies. So she watched good. them. With the first. Unbelievable. They're so just, good. Yeah. Did you, did you watch the second one? Yeah, I, I like the first one better. But me I too. But and then, but I didn't realize it was a cliffhanger. My daughter's yelling, "We got robbed!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. By the way, Thomas Kelly here <clears throat> wrote a little. He said, uh, "He says this is a YouTube comment generated by AI to post during the recording." Wow, tuning in live for the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast recording feels like being ringside for all the action. Can't wait to hear what juicy behind-the-scenes stories and insights at Major WF Pod has. Well, we just Ooh. gave you a bunch. <laughs> yeah, that was I don't know about did. juicy, but definitely some insight. All right, so some <sighs> follow-up, guys. Uh, our Extreme Bendies still on sale oh, for the whole baby. month. MajorBendies.com. That's Jerry Lynn, Mikey Whipwreck, Dusty Rose, Francine, and Shane Douglas all with the bloody variants. Jerry Lynn and Francine are in alternate gear in the bloody variants. And this pre-order ends March 31st. I, I think we need to switch the graphics and the verbiage. This is, yes, it is a pre-order, but I think it confuses people. This is the order, okay? It's not like ringside where you pre-order and then like you can still buy it months later. Yeah, the pre-order you still need, is the order. You still need like a word though because it's not like it's going to ship to you the next day. Well, that's you need that asterisk underneath the order. that ships in... You know? Yeah, I guess that would be the solve. That would be the solve. Because I think I think people are waiting for this and like, oh, I'll just get it when it comes in. That's not how it works. Pre order is the order on these. Products. Yeah, but Or I think people do it with most pre orders and don't think like, you know. Right. Or there's also and I mean it's just a way of collecting and I'm not knocking it. People wait to see the finished product and go, Okay, I do want this for sure. Right. And, and not take the risk and then sure. no, no, I, I pay more that. because they did that. Right. So also pre-order uh, this week was the the Power Town, and I ended up getting all of those. Uh, Power Town showed off the Remco, packaging. Pa- Power Town Remco line. The Power Town Remco line showed off all the packaging. We see like who comes with what. The the packaging is incredible. I love the it's artwork so on the back. Such a I believe, fun line, man. I believe Hal Haney does the artwork for this. I believe so. And then he, uh, I mean, obviously these are going to go go hand in hand with Mattel Superstars. Like, just looks so great. The ringside bell to bell. You know, our yeah, major so ringside fun. figures. Yeah. So, um, still no word like if this is like a capped pre order, you know? I, I believe it is just like anything else. Yeah. Well, they, there's, there's no information. That's what I'm saying on the website. Mm, Power Town likes to do that, you know. Oh, you know, <laughs> they like to not tell you the info. <laughs> yeah. But if you get the whole bundle, you get this cool print. So I bought That's the whole awesome. bundle. So I'll be getting this whole print. I ordered all of them. It's I can't badass. wait. I'm, I'm super behind this line. And uh, Super behind Power Town in general. More Power Town follow up from last week. The three factory defective figures that are, sh- are shipping now 
The yep. sticker is on the outside, so you know it's not on the inside. Oh, great. Which I think makes the most sense, right? Because if you were to buy it and not open that window to find right. out, that's kind of right. a, a mess up. So. And, yeah, and, and like we said before, if you're gonna, if you don't really do figure photography, those figures are fine to open. It's not like they're just gonna break. I mean, no, they're not gonna explode. Yeah, no, no. It's, like you, I still have my original ones will, because but, I didn't, yeah. you know, mess with them. Yeah. Don't try to sit them in a chair. That's all. Yeah, don't yeah, try no. to do a big boot or move their legs in any way. But <laughs> other than that, you just pose them good. to stand there and your thing, they'll be fine. And obviously, men on card, they're more than perfect. Chris so Crawford, I'm says really anxious to Hal see Haney uh, art for that uh, print there. Oh, very cool. I'm anxious to see what's going on with uh, the Ultras Series uh, 2 and also uh, our two-pack. They're coming. They, they're also coming. And then there should be uh, TNA pre-order information coming within the next couple of weeks or so. Oh, I totally forgot about those. We're going to see some pictures as well, I assume. Yep, I'm on top of it all. Very cool. Uh, also, Hurricane Helms posted a photo with his Funko Pop. Which I fucking, I love so That's much. Cool, I'm a big Hurricane guy. Love that he has a Funko. I definitely did get this, get it signed, a nice neon green paint Ooh. pen. So Let's let's track those uh, producers down during uh, WrestleMania week, because I need Abyss to sign some stuff. <laughs> Ooh. I heard, uh, I heard by Billy the way, Kidman, we have- I heard Billy Kidman is now known as Stone Cold Billy Kidman. Oh, he shaved no. his head. He's, heard, he's a quitter. No, too soon. He's really? a quitter. <laughs> too soon. I uh, him today. Speaking of Hurricane Helms here, we have a couple things in our past with him. We did a, a unboxing of his Elite. You guys did that with backstage. Him, right? yep. A little interview while you did that. And we did like a, an actual audio interview with, with Hurricane that you can find in the archive. So cool stuff with him. I mean, we talk all when he first came back to WWE there. Um, we talk all yes. about uh, him and his figures and all that stuff. Great, great stuff. Very cool. That's all I've got for follow up. You guys got anything? Yes, I do. It? Whoa. I got some questions for you, Matt. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh, first of all, I would like to share this exi- as Exhibit A, and I would like you to talk about it. I'd, I'd like to find out oh. what happened here. This is a text message sent to Chelsea. Babe, remember when you said my pre-workout tasted funny the other day? She says, yes, question marks. I just took a scoop. It's my gimmick container full of baby powder that I use for my matches. How is this you, true? Did this happen? You, I know it's true, but I'm just wondering how you got to this point. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, my my bag, my, uh, you know, my bag, I must have got pre-workout out of my bag and brought it down. Because I have like, you know, I live out of my suitcase, right? Yeah. So sometimes like I like if I run out of like my pre-workout, I know I always have one in my bag and I must have grabbed the one. That is full of the baby powder. Because when I come to the ring and I show it off, it's baby powder that I'm throwing. Spoiler yes. alert. You know? Yeah. Uh. So the other day, now when I make my pre-workout, I also mix something else in it. So I didn't notice a big difference right. when I drank it. You know? And also, I'm doing it with such little water that it's, it's like a shot. Oh. You know? And Chelsea was just taking the pre-workout. And she, she said it tasted a little funny. She said, I don't know. I just had it. It tasted fine. And then today, as I opened it up, I realized I could smell it. I, for some reason, it was close to my face. Well, well, yeah. And I, and I realized, oh, shit, this is the <sighs> baby powder. So the other fact in all this is that Chelsea consumed it. You just No, no, no. I consumed work. it the other day as well, but oh. <laughs> I had something else mixed in with it, and I couldn't really tell. All right. You know what I'm saying? Well, well, I just Googled it, Broski. Can you eat baby powder? Uh, their ba- baby powder is formulated for use on the skin only and warned that it should not be ingested. However, in most cases, baby powder ingestion will not require medical attention. However, if eaten, the powder may cause an upset stomach. Guys, we're fine here. This is, this is like days ago. We're all good. It was an honest <laughs> mistake. And I've since <laughs> sold this container on whatnot. Mm, okay. Of course you did. Oh, my the, God. The famous... All right, well, uh, you got a little viral post out of that. <clears throat> well, it is what it is. You know, I was honest. Broski yeah. couldn't let me have the spear. He had to one-up me this weekend. <laughs> By feeding his wife baby powder. <laughs> yeah, couldn't, couldn't, couldn't let me just have the spear. Oh, boy. All right, here we go. Let's go to some news brought to you by Pops Blue Ribbon.
The Major Pod Network has partnered with our favorite adult beverage, Paps Blue Ribbon. Everybody needs some liquid courage to make their own weekly purchases. Scratch that figure itch and scratch that PBR itch. If you're listening to this, you're already a major mark. Now it's time to become a major PBR mark. Use hashtag Major PBR and post your pictures and videos of you major marking out with some Paps. Paps Blue Ribbon and the Major Pod Network, the tag team champions of the world. Of the world. Major PBR forever. All right, guys, hashtag major PBR. We love PBR. We got the Square Circle Expo coming up. We're going to be drinking PBR for two oh, okay. days Wait, man, straight. Me, Moose, and Eddie, we're celebrating our, our big title wins this weekend. We're looking for some PBRs, but we're in freaking Canada. Oh, right. damn. I know. I asked Mark or VSK to pick me up a PBR because I didn't want to drink any of that fucking beer from the brewery. They both fucking big leagued me and said no. <laughs> but I'm not stopping, pal. Man, <laughs> I was so already thanks. in the city. What? All right, well. Use the hashtag major PBR. If we choose your picture or video, you will get a prize. This one, I love this one. It comes from at Mex Heron. Just a reminder, hashtag major marks. You don't need alcohol to have a good time. Hashtag major PBR has you covered. Hashtag non-alcoholic. Didn't oh, know that. That's sweet. Whoa. A non-alcoholic PBR. So I don't want any excuses, Mark. I know Mark. <laughs> Mark told me he's doing a little cutting and strutting, yeah, and won't be drinking at Live 19, sponsored by Ringside Collectibles. Uh, but Mark, we better have you on stage drinking some non-alcoholic PBR. There we go. Well, the reason that I'm not drinking is not because of uh, 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 some sort of addiction or whatever the fuck. I'm doing it because of the calories, and there's still a ton of calories in non-alcoholic. But yeah, I will. We still have cal- calories I, for sure. I will dabble of sh- of course at the um the live show. Of course, brought to you by Ringside Collectibles, guys. And by the sold way, sold out Philadelphia. Sold out live in goddamn 18. minutes. We did a little rundown before we recorded of who these surprise guests are. They're going to be incredible. So much cool merch is going to be there. Oh, it's WrestleMania season. Philadelphia, ECW vibes, ECW feel. It's ECW going to be an incredible live show. Exclusive major bendy. Guys, I don't know why we're selling this. It's sold out. It's sold out, <laughs> yeah. But um, – I'm so excited for the fans who are going to be there because they're going to have an exclusive, awesome, extreme time. All right. So some news. WWE 2K keeps adding wrestling figures to it. They just added really? the the Japanese Hogan, the Target exclusive. I not even out what, yet. I saw this picture and I did not know what the hell it was. Mm. He, he's I, a playable character in the video game, like the Cody wow. and who else is who else is in the game? The, the Cena, Bruce right? Cody for sure. We covered, but that I guess you know what threw me off. Like those hands don't look like Mattel hands, so I didn't know what that was. Mm. And this is the the variant, the one I won't be getting. I want the one with the silver boots. Yeah, I think I want the silver boots too. But pretty damn cool, man. Also, does Hogan it take, is. Uh, does it take the shades off to fight? That I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. To be um, continued. Hastel Toys, Mitch showed off his Waylon Mercy Dan Spivey ninety five. Looks great to me. Listen, for what these figures are, I dig it. I will be getting it. Yeah, I will say this. As much as we give him shit, he has been banging these products out, and they've been getting better and better. What so is that's the, all you can ask from the guy. You know, he keep Shard he, Grove Studio? What is that? <laughs> he he collaborate. Anyone who, like, like, someone painted the eyeballs, and he gets a shout-out. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, okay. <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm glad he, he's improving his product. I mean, God, he's got fucking Macho Man coming out soon. So, which we the we retro world is any, well. Have we seen his Macho Man? Or no, we haven't seen it. We have not. Oh, we have not. Just that announcement. I'm I'm sure it's gonna be like a wolf pack one with the NWO logo that he can't use something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, something ridiculous like that. But hey, but, but, uh, b- before we move on, by the way, Mike Small says he's playing the game right now. John Cena is only available until the end of March. Right. And the Cody you get when you buy the game and get the nightmare pack. So oh, interesting. There's some information on those. Then there's a one of a hundred Savio Vega signed I think the figure's exactly the same. Yeah. But he just put a little sticker on it. Yeah, but like a KB style sticker on it. Yeah, this is a, a pass for me, but I, again I love the Savio figure. I think it's good. But it no need for me to have a live in uh at our live show. 
Yeah. So no need. Oh, to, definitely. Look at the. Look oh, at that's him. A yeah. He's using. Yeah. Literally. Yeah, so no need to get the one, in my opinion, with the sticker. But hey, if you're a Savio or a completist of this line, why not? Might as well get it. I think we found. Uh, I think D Freedom is actually in the chat um, on a burner. He says that sucks. DST <laughs> is amazing because he takes time and ever. Um, by the way, I did. I did brought that up because last week I. I I'm looking at the YouTube comments of the video last week, mm-hmm. and I and there was just so many comments about loving D Freedom, and and I oh. was like, what is happening? And then I remembered I literally asked Chat what you thought about D Freedom, and people were were in droves weighing in on how much they love our man D Freedom. I mean, there was a couple Good people. For D. There was a couple people that you know were were He's very uh, polarized. They love him or hate him. He is. Polarized. I know, but like we yeah. say that, Broski. But the the outpouring of love for D Freedom on the comments for the last week's episode uh, was pretty astounding. So sweet, nice to awesome. see. Well, I don't know if the even love though we can't drive, we love D Freedom as well. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know if the love is going to be astounding for this next one. HBK and Undertaker Foco twenty fifth anniversary. It, it, they're doing a choke slam, but it looks like he's fucking bringing him to bed. Yeah, no, just no, married. Yeah, that is just married. Yeah, you guys put that in the work chat. You go, just married edition? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck this is, pal. Like, is, <sighs> now, is this the first match or the second match? That's. I don't know. That brown is looking reddish. I think it's supposed to be the first. Would be my guess. I don't know. It's a. I, I, I really see it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here he comes. It's 25. It's the first one. Yeah, so that that brown is too reddish. Am I right? It's a copper, so it should be metallic, but yeah. yeah they, that's not going to happen. Yeah, it should be more of a gold, but yeah, they made it more of a copper, and it is what it is, but yeah, it's focal. When you really look at it, you could tell it's like on the way down of the choke slam bump. Yeah, he's I got guess, the hand I guess that's around. That's the only it. way to show both faces, you know. Yeah, the the beauty <laughs> shot wasn't the best angle. They could have angled it a little differently, but it is it is what it is. <laughs> just, the just not, married uh, edition. I, don't I think it's TV just TV like uh, maybe better in theory than execution. This kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. it probably looked a little bit better on paper. Yeah. I mean, imagine if they had him at the tombstone. Had <laughs> <laughs> one <laughs> bobble, bobbles his head. <laughs> Holy <laughs> what up, dude? Oh, my <laughs> oh, by the way, what up, dead? Going head to head with our live show in Philly. Yes, guys. And the, the audacity. Best part, the best part is like I can't even like be worried because we're sold out. I know it doesn't matter, but if we weren't already sold out, I'd be shook. I know. Yeah, man. I wonder if I should dress up as the rider taker. The one the one man dead man show or whatever it's well, called. Well, I sent the I sent the message to RJ City with the with the link. I said, Congrats. You know, <laughs> oh, he's the understudy. Maybe to, we can get um, him and our show to redo part two of his one man dead man show. <laughs> oh boy. Right. That'd be oh, great. Boy. All right. Big shots, guys. The British Bulldog coming to big shots. We got a little teaser. That was a teaser. That's cool. I'm super pumped for this. I'm all in on big shots, but I'm especially pumped because this is the first officially licensed British Bulldog buddy of any kind. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I didn't think of that. So we, we've, I we've really said so dig many this. times throughout the years in this show, Braids, 91, 92, Davey is like the coolest. I Here's a question for you guys. When, when does Davey debut, like re-debut with the Braids? Uh, like... It's got to be like mid ninety one. No, not mid. No, it's ninety. 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 He fights Warlord at like a mania, so it's that's like a. So, no, but that's that's WrestleMania seven ninety one. But he's. Yeah, so he's on that mania. So it's got to be early, early, early ninety one. The reason I'm asking is because like I mean, he's not on that Survivor Series. Yeah, he's not on the Survivor Series. Yeah. The reason I bring it up is because maybe we can squeeze that look into a big rubber guy line eventually. I it's, think so. It's crossing the threshold of the 80s, I would, but not. I know. wouldn't do this one. This one's been do, uh, d- done way too much with this with this specific pair of tights. Yeah, but this is like our childhood. It's the not iconic. Big rubber like, guy. That's like saying Hogan's yeah. been done too much. Don't do Hogan. Well, yeah, yeah but we can we can get a different British Bulldog tights. There, he's He's got a lot in the portfolio. I don't know. Not in this I era, don't know. Really. Anyway, guys. Speaking of big shots, 
There's a new member to the Big Shots family. D, hit him we with it. We were all shocked to see this this week. Yes. <laughs> he Matt didn't even hint to it. <laughs> it was not hint. even, not even a clue. Us a full boot a couple Death weeks ago. Match King, Matt Cardona. If you're listening, it's available now in two Whoa. sizes. Get the big size, guys. Get the regular standard 22-incher. First bloody wrestling buddy in history. I'm sticking to it. So I think it's pretty cool, man. What's the other size? The small size? 16 inch and 22. It's like inch. a smaller size. Got it. 22 is the standard. Get are you it. You have this at the table, or is this? Are you pushing people to get this at an online thing? No, I will not have these at my table. This is strictly from Big Shots. It's through them. It will not be through okay. me. Through them, I have a royalty deal. They're handling it all. Cool. Um, you know, so I will still, you know, have my. Uh, major buddies at the table, the smaller scale, those those will be at the table. But if you want the big shots, the big boy, the 22-incher, you can order the 16 if you want. But I say go 22. Go big or go home. Mm. First so ever Chris, Chris bloody wrestling thing. buddy. <laughs> Chris Crocock getting a little sexual here. 16 inches for 22 inches. Who doesn't want an extra six inches? That's what I was thinking. Maybe, maybe that's my what head's I'm, in the cut. That's right what I'm saying. <laughs> so I'm honored for that. Let's talk about these guys. We didn't see this coming. At least I certainly didn't. The new ringside exclusives, the From the Vault. Oh, my God. We got Triple H. We got, oh, there he is, the game Elite, Triple H. Now, these which are was all originally Elite, Elite 7, Elite I believe. Yeah, Elite 2011, Elite. quarter one. That's, so it's been uh, been quite some time. Yeah, Quite some time since it's Triple H. With the glow, this is glow stick era Triple H. Is the Swaggle run Triple H? Yeah. Swaggle oh, no. is literally the oh, Swaggle DX. DX. Yeah. He's in the real set. Nice. The the packaging looks cool. We got Shawn Michaels, the matching HBK with the glow sticks. Looks good with the uh the DX Army 00, zero jersey, the 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 Bob Cardona hat. <laughs> now these all have, you know, the interchangeable hands, the updated that, faces but... and elbows. So improvements have been made. I guess that's improvements. That's uh, you know, it's up for hands, debate. I guess and el- the new elbows. No DIJ on the Triple H and uh, Sean because the uh, heads are too big to fit in the DIJ rig. So now this well, one's cool. This is those. the Survivor Series 1996 Undertaker, the original defining moments with the big ass like Batman wings. Yeah, wave tape. four. Survivor Series 96. Yeah. Looks really cool. I'll definitely be getting this to up, update mine for sure. Yeah, this looks great. Looks Didn't badass. update the boots, but it's uh, it's okay. <laughs> boots, uh, yeah. Still got laces. Another All right. re-release of a defining moment is John Cena when he's drafted Two, to Raw. 2005 draft, John Cena. I'll definitely be getting this one as well to, to update my other one. This the big-ass uh, jersey looks awesome. Yeah, this was Wave 5. Came out in... Uh, Quarter four, 20, uh, 2011. So, yep, been Damn, some time. Been 2011? And yeah, all the defining moments. Uh, it's that one they of the didn't... OGs. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Man, that's crazy. And it comes with uh, comes with both spinners. And uh, this one actually does have the updated WWE Championship with the spinner. So now both belts spin. So cool. Nice. nice. Very cool. But yeah, it's Looks got great. the uh, signature. Love, by the way, while we're going over this, the like wink and nod to the old school. Mattel Elite yep. packaging, yep, well, is awesome. This technically kind of isn't the, the Hardy Boys that were released a few yeah, years ago. Yeah, so this isn't the first release. Yeah, right. the WWE Shop ones were the first. But, but uh, now, what what year are these really Hardys different. supposed to depict? Uh, this 08? is uh, yeah, this 08. is 08 Jeff, 08. yeah, and then 08 Matt, yeah. This is a uh, WWE CW or SmackDown United States title run Matt, and then yeah. Jeff is like right before he wins the WWE title. So, yep, cool, very cool. So there's the Cena, looks great. Also, the Hardcore Kane, which this one is a very pricey one on the secondary market. So if you were holding out for this, get it now which, with the Hardcore Championship. I was racking my brain. This was a ringside exclusive, correct? It was. Yeah. So this is like a redone, like that's wild, like an exclusive redone to the same company. 11 that's years epic. later. Yeah. I like really want to know, and I don't know how we'll epic. ever find out, like what went into... Like, did, like, Mattel give them a list and say, hey, or choose some? Or did Ringside give a list, say, what can we do? I didn't um, get full details, but I was told there was a lot of back and forth, which I could totally get. Very intrigued by yeah. who was uh, who was decided and why. Yeah, but uh, new head on Kane. It's the new uh, SummerSlam head that was uh, came out in, like, about four years ago for that SummerSlam wave. So it's got updated uh, mask. I think this is 
the first time that the mask is actually going to be done properly, at least uh, in terms of the Whoa. in terms of the deco. Whoa. And then uh, got new buff arms, so he's got the uh, got the big ripped because I think that was some of the critiques from collectors back in the day. Is he that, was so jacked in that era, guys. Yeah, he was so jacked. Oh, damn. I wasn't sure if I had to replace this one, but D just sold me with all that information. Okay. I'm definitely replacing it. Yeah, I think, the, I think the gold and is that hardcore gold, title you don't see very often. Yeah, it was only offered, I think, with uh, with this back in 2013, and then the the belt pack, I think, in 2018, 2019. So wow. Yeah, so I think a lot of people will be buying this for the belt. Now the Dudleys, the first Dudley figures since they've signed their Legends deals. Now these are just redos of their you know return style, so these aren't Legends by any means, but I but still, still think they're going to sell. Though. Those are changeable uh, hands. I'm wondering, do you think they'll have the printing on the face, D? Yeah, these have DIJ. Yeah, but did the originals have that? No, no. They they didn't incorporate DIJ until uh, I think uh, 54 Usos. So that was uh, okay. start of 2018. So I I won't need these because they're not flashbacks by any means. But pretty cool that they're included and these they got the Dudleys out fast. You know, pricey figures on the secondary market too. Yes, they are. Yes, yeah, dollars so plus each min on card. These were originally, I think, a part of Series 45, and that was quarter four, 2016. So. Yeah, and they, I mean, and plus they come with a lot of stuff. Each the tables, yeah. the glasses, it's pretty fun. I th- I mean I know I saw a couple people dipshit comments on the internet when these were posted. They're like, okay, wait for the major part guys to like blast these, but like, I think I'm blast officially- about what. I think that like, oh, well, now the old figures aren't worth any money anyway, whatever. Like, and I don't care about that. It's not like I'm sitting on a pile of these old figures. I'm looking to flip. I don't have, you know, I don't have them to sell. So there's no skin in the game for me. And I, and I think that Mattel's done this enough now that I'm over that. I mean, it's just, yeah, it's I just, think my, my, it's just going to be part of collecting. Thought- like if you are sitting on these to flip, that it's, it's a lot more, you know, risky. That's all. I mean, it is what it <clears> is, but I said this in the Facebook group. If you're, like investing in WWE Mattel figures for like for money, I think you, you chose the wrong things to invest in. <laughs> I mean, it's don't get me wrong, it's possible. It's just sure, not, but like you never know what's going to be yeah. a hit, what's going to be a miss, what's going to take off, what's not, what's going to get re released these days. The the what's going to get re released is the big deal, right? <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I mean, when we started this podcast, we had many conversations about. You know, not wanting things ever to be re- re-released, but then we had these these conversations of like, well, maybe you sort of have to. Remember that first yeah, my cane? mind has definitely changed, on I it. Think- and I understand the the the, you know, maybe not the resale part, but like, let's say you just spent something for spent two hundred bucks on a fucking the Dudleys, and here they come. Ah, fuck! It's frustrating, but you gotta think big picture. You know, mm, right? It's, yeah. There's no a lot of people in this game. This? Playing the long game anyway. If, so. I, th- I you think want to improve. When I heard Bill figure, say you like the if you don't want to, rule, it's fine. Yeah, when Bill said the ten year rule thing, I was like that. That kind of swayed me. He's right. It's been a long time that Mattel's been making these figures. Well, so wait like, a minute. Let's let's this next one. Well, it's not ten years. I know, Ultimate but Warrior. Just, and neither were the Dudleys, but still eight years, or whatever. It's a long time. This isn't a warrior I would have chose, to be honest. I, I was um, surprised that it was this, but then again, it, right, when it was out the first time, it was a Target exclusive. You know, it's not that plentiful. True, true, true. It's a very toyetic look. Looks great. Yeah. It's a different look with his hair kind of slicked uh, back a little maybe bit. Maybe do it. Why, why wouldn't it have the new tassels that spin? What budget? <laughs> they got to put okay. a wire in there and everything. It's more costly. Yeah. Okay. I think the, the knee pads are the... Or the, the new, ones, right? I, th- I think those are the newer ones, so... Yeah. All comes but down like to cost at the end of the, the day. Ways. They they stay up, so that's why I knew they weren't. But yeah, all comes down to cost at the end of the day. What but what I, I have been is... doing is I've been getting them all that I and then like because you really got to compare it to the figure in hand, in my opinion. So like for instance, like these last the last one with the natural disasters, I kept my original natural disasters because like they had thicker arms and I believe yeah, Earthquake so. had like knee pads that weren't included on the re release. Yeah, so sometimes same. I think the original is better. Yeah, I, I kind of agree. I'm in the same boat for the most part. But um, at the end of the day, I'm pretty excited about what, now that this is like literally on the table for ringside, I mean, there's a lot of pretty crazy possibilities. See, you know, I think this is great for like newer collectors who kind of maybe missed out on certain things. Because you got to remember, this line is over 10 years old. Yeah, that's for people but who for don't want to shell 14. out. Don't want to shell out the crazy cash for right. The 14 years yeah. for me why i'm not super excited is because like i have everything so it's not like they can make something i don't have you know 
Yeah, but we're the rare exception to that. You know, most people aren't in that boat, so they're just thrilled. Oh, no, that's this. why I totally understand the appeal, yeah. and I'm sure these are going to do very, very well for ringside. Like and I how said, many, the pop, is there's it a lot of possibilities stars? on the table now that, that, that this is an option that they banged out a Bro, eight figure Everything's set. a possibility if you want it to be. I'm just, well, back to what we're talking about. If you were going to invest in something, I would invest in like things that Mattel can't do, like Ric Flair and Macho Man stuff right now, you know? And that's only for now. Like You don't <laughs> think Macho Man Ric Flair is going to a WWE not, that's, deal? That's in this moment. That could change right. at any moment. Yeah. It's a dangerous game. D, is that yep. all of them? Yeah, that's right for the vault. Yep. All right. Uh, some more, cool, man. Some more exclusives it. from Walmart of the Young Bucks, Heel Young Bucks. The first release of Heel Young Bucks, if I'm not mistaken. This is the first time the Young Bucks have been depicted as heels. I was, when these pictures dropped last week, I was like <laughs> so fascinated with this. That's like a jacket in arm, like that's stuck on, like. Ruthless aggression style, like yeah. So I don't mind that as an exclusive. I don't mind that. I guess. And then I the like heads, it a lot. The heads as well, right? Like that's not moving that thing. That doesn't come off. That's not like it's a, a helmet. unique look. I think that's perfect yeah. for an exclusive. Just throwing it out there for people just so they understand. Right. Yeah, like if you're a Young Bucks fan, I think you need it or a oh, Dire A W. Deco but- hits alone are insane. Very toyetic. Insane. Yeah, yeah I mean, the, the Deco was able to be accomplished because of Digital Link Jet DIJ. So that's come a long way in terms of its advancement. So there's a lot that you don't need to do with uh, pad printing slash uh, tampo printing anymore. So DIJ is the is the new substitute. And so you'll find out uh, when you get uh, your Super 7 Matt Cardona in hand and because uh, it's pretty much accomplished the same way. So And I, I told uh, Alex Reynolds he needs these because these are – from the six man when he worked them at all out or all in or whatever. Oh, wow. oh that's great. Yeah, this yeah. is all out 2022. There it is. Also, we saw some 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 uh, studio shots of the the Sting, the Walmart exclusive. So, uh, soft not... goods coat, right? We were wrong about that last week. Yeah, I I didn't think they were gonna we were bust out the, uh, the soft goods. I mean, it's the I wouldn't have gone with the leather, but it is what it is. Nah, Damn, your, I love that. Me too. I that's love your, it. That's so, your definitive sting. It's great, but it's just so bulky. I don't know. I, I think know. it looks great. I think it's going to be fine the, in the, person. The tailorings, it could use some work, but hey, it's a mass-produced item. I get why they went with the leather because it's obviously more cost-effective than other materials because it is more of a velvet, but obviously that's not accomplishable. But uh, yeah, and the uh, it's missing some like gold trim along the uh, along like the uh, the sleeves. So just all comes down to cost so ultimately you're getting a bunch of heads a bunch of hands and you're getting the also, the, for, the 4297 package so not final product though you never know oh this is this is ep so yeah this is this is pretty, pretty darn close, pretty close yeah. yeah yeah i don't i don't think i'll be getting it but uh i appreciate all the different heads i appreciate you can do singlet look t-shirt long Same. sleeve okay, I, I totally appreciate it. i love the I, mask the removable mask i think i'm it's getting it, and this will be my one and only aw sting that i own all right, that's fine. I, I don't uh, I don't hate that choice. Uh, we saw some Monday Night Wars Series Three pictures. We saw a little Booker T and Stevie Ray. Did the chases pop up or just the? Uh... Yeah, j- just these four shots. It was only just four beauty shots of uh, of the standard uh, versions, and I think Rob Van Dam only had two. So yeah, just just the uh, just the shadow box photos. So this RVD did not see this coming because Monday Night Wars, but this is the ECW That's invasion. Full RVD, blown, right? yeah, ECW invasion. RVD we definitely so. need this, in my opinion. Yeah, big time for sure. When he fought Jeff on Raw, I think it was like May '97. So yeah, the youngest depiction of RVD ever done in figure form. That's for I sure. love it. I'm missing um, the chest will... hair, but it's uh, it's all right. <laughs> oh come on, let's go. let's be real. <laughs> this one at first I was like, oh, this the rock with the R shirt and Bro, the nation tights. Did the but exact same thing. Then we see thing. the 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 photos where he's doing the eye roll from that that classic. Like it wasn't the classic at the time, but now it you know now, now it's, it's yeah. kind of oh, like it's like one of the first memes that come up. It's the first gifts that right. come well, up. It's I'm so just perfect. It wasn't classic. Of the no time. way out. Yeah. Now. I did yeah. not see that coming, and it, that was awesome. Just hilarious. Oh, I need it just to put you put put it exactly like that in my case. Right? I was like, why would they make this rock again? We already had this, and it wasn't a big deal. Well, it's got an updated torso too. So yeah, the other one had everything. the Triple H torso. That was in the Kmart exclusive uh, two pack with Farouk. So yep, I I'll, I'm gonna get it. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna display it, um, because that eye roll is classic. But how do you so, not right? have to do gotta, it? Like figure that out. Yeah, 
How do you not have him doing like the nation pose with the rest of the nation though? But don't you already have a nation rock to do that? You can yeah, you can do like the SummerSlam '98 rock with them. I guess I don't know. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna get it, so I just don't know how I'm gonna display it. There was a rock and a Farouk two pack, Who, which was nation that's the rock. one. I'm, that's the one I'm, I'm talking about. Is there a yeah. builder for this? The builder, yeah, it's disciple. disciple, but they didn't show any. Uh, oh, disciple, right? Yeah, can't wait. One of my most wanted figures <laughs> Me too, big time. And then we also saw the Monday Night Wars Ultimates of Eddie Guerrero, which Yo, I really love. This, bro. Really Let's cool. Go. Eddie Guerrero is my favorite wrestler. T-shirt. This is WCW Cruiserweight Champion Eddie Guerrero. Looks which, oh, looks great. Look at that mullet. Which at first, I was like, oh, I could probably cut that uh, Hall of Fame one from a couple years ago. Uh, that's that's Latino Heat. That's Rascals, right? Yeah, I can yeah. do that. Yeah. The Rascals. Awesome. The ra- Radicals. Jeez. Rascals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love how it looks. It's it's not super jacked like the other one. This one I'm not super in love with. No, Ooh, I love it. Either. I hate soft goods, and it doesn't that's, come across that's great. That tie is killing me. I, I like it. I'm going to get it, and then I don't know what I'm going to do with You know, I'm not going to decide yet. This is the uh, the ultimate mankind. Has Mr. Sacco, has the tie, has the soft goods shirt. The 91, the title, which I think is cool that you can recreate that and make that look, but... Yeah, I'm in on this 100%. Both of them. I'm going to get it and make a decision, I think. I don't Same know. here. That's exactly I, I do I'm already doing. have a shirt and tie of Mankind from the... The ringside one with the tax in his back is so awesome. But that also is depicting like a... The, both of these to me are depicting a... Different moment? Exact moment, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I think pretty, either way... Pretty timeless moment. I think you definitely... I think you need the tax one and then a different corporate Mankind. I think you need them both anyway. Right. Because the one with the tax, you had the mask off. I know, mm-hmm. but it's just so cool. That one. Oh, man. I mean, you, you, know. need, you, I, you need one with Mr. Sacco. Man, I don't know what I'm going to do. I love this one. So Yeah, great great portrait on that. Uh, what, what do we got next, D? That's it for, uh, for the Mattel stuff. Uh, then we got uh, Heart Foundation. Those are coming in on, uh, I think, Thursday. Let's go. Kyle Peterson already has one before us, that son of a yeah, bitch. Yeah, I was going to... Send some you know, pretty aggravated text about that, but uh, yeah. And remember, they have a chase it. with the black cards. I will be getting these. I'll be trying to get two. I'm not going to go crazy getting these black card ones, though. I'm not going to go he nuts says over that it. now. I say that, but to me, like the hearts weren't on black cards, so it doesn't. I you know, it doesn't, I don't need that. <laughs> so you have slaughter. I do have slaughter. So what's your excuse for keeping that? Well, slaughter wasn't on any card, so like <sighs> I can imagine being on a black card. Your Heart Foundation excuse, but anyway. And then also the uh, the ring coming very soon with the uh That's coming the same day. So same day, huh? Same same day. Oh wow. So okay. they're both coming Thursday. Uh, on the fourteenth. So according to the so. Kyle Peterson photos, really cool Heart Foundation. They look great. So I've said it before, I'm collecting these Coliseum collections as if they're its own thing. So I will not be cutting my elites and O'Brien will. But, anyway, but these are must haves because oh, they're for sure. completely for sure. updated the elites that we have. They're not even yes. close. Uh, also, Dr. Style Slick coming soon from Zombie Sailor Toys and in stocker at WrestleCon. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Is Zombie going to make three slicks? Oh man, come on! Zombie. Do we really? need three? Sl- I mean, like, I don't. I was questioning, do we need two? But I think we might be getting three. I, I thought this was the slick, and like this is no. it. That's how no, little the, he's making. The one that was advertised, the one that's going to be in series uh, three, is the blue suit. That's why it's on this car back. So it's the same car back, just with the, uh, with the little sticker. But uh, yeah, the it's third almost like one, the LJN style. Oh man. Yeah, the the third one I think was in the. It had like a different hat, remember? Yeah, it was. Uh, it had like a orange tie. So I think this one pairs with like Twin Towers. The other one pairs with uh, Akeem, I guess, because that one's like WrestleMania six. And then yeah, um, I, mean, I, listen, I appreciate I'm, I'm, Slick, and I want a Slick in my collection. As I long as they get spaced out, I, I think don't that, need many Slicks in my collection, bro. I don't need three slick. Slicks. I'll say that. Yeah. We need a Slick. I can handle two Slicks. We don't need three Slicks. Two two slicks is rough, three slicks is bullshit. And and it's like three of any mat. It's like you know, you know what I'm saying. Ugh. 
Well, it's cool to know Pet and Gale, Smart Mark, Bruce Lee, and Johnny Gargano are coming in. Hey, shortly. this is some great news. Shortly. <laughs> because uh, Zombie said in a text to me, for sure going to be in people's hands before WrestleCon. Whoa. So Mark and will crawl out from underneath the table, sign that heels <laughs> sign for you, <laughs> get right back underneath. But you can get no, it signed, Brian, guys. he has an 8 by 10 so really Sign. he has like <laughs> oh, an man. 8 by 30 space or 8 by 20 space oh, available at my table. Right. Will it fit a, a heels and faces for display? He could. Well, he put some 8 by 10s and then like a heels and face above. Yeah, and then and then my bendy right in front of that, and that's it. But let me yeah. tell you this, guys. I'm going to have um, I'm gonna have a bunch in stock at WrestleCon wow. of the heels and faces. Holy yeah. shit. TK said if they all pair with someone different, I'm pretty sure the third one pairs with Power Glory. So... So this one pairs with like more of like a one man gang. It's it's more neutral, and then I believe the blue one. That one pairs with Akeem when he fought Boss Man, and then the third one, which I haven't received any update on that, but uh, I think that one. Whenever that's, scheduled, I'm sorry, so. but you have to be a goddamn slick super fan to fucking realize <laughs> what well, error suit the, and hat. There's he's only one when he managed fucking, whoever. Like get the fuck out of here. They, we, let's like, come on, guys. Let's let's be real here. This no. there's there's one Jeff Jarrett. One of the most toyetic, colorful men in history, but there's three slicks. Yeah. When I close Two. my eyes, I think of slick in a gray suit. Same. What, what about you guys? Because the LJN, you're saying that, though. Probably. I mean, I don't know why I think <sighs> that, but that's what sticks out in my the, mind. The blue is probably going to pop the most out on display. So if you want something that is more colorful with the Hasbro palette, that's the way to go. But if you want something that pairs with endless people so you can have a manage uh, Rick Martell or whatever, gray is probably the one to go with. So. Twelve fifty. Got options. Uh, these, I'll tell you what though. As I love Zombie, but they, there ain't no way he's selling one thousand two hundred fifty <laughs> at WrestleCon. <laughs> like, not a fucking uh, chance, baby. Can't wait for the Fourth of July slick sale. <laughs> Larry, Larry says uh, that that we're being too easy on Zombie. Easy. This is the what, most. We've what ever we just buried him for that. five minutes. Uh, what are yeah, you talking well, about? Well, I guess he says. Where's the Cardona Gage pack? Where is Johnny? Where is Bruce Lee? Hello. Bro. Bro. Actually, D. Listen, I will keep, say this about Zombie. Let's keep shredding, post- D. How long has that Johnny Gargano been Bro. out? Holy shit. Zombie made a post last year that Mark was going to be in hand by the holidays. <laughs> Did he? Yes. I don't even remember that. And he meant Christmas. He didn't mean fucking Easter. <laughs> I had a phone Some call with Zombie. Some people refer to the holidays as Easter, not Christmas. I now. had a phone call with Zombie that said, I'm hoping for January. And that was last year, right? So like I never right. expected it to be Christmas. He said it would be a Christmas miracle, right? If it was holiday situation. Mm-hmm. Where the fuck is my two pack? <laughs> That's another weird thing. Here's the thing. I, I guess for me personally, I don't it's even my I don't give a fuck. Like I, I I really don't care when these figures come out. I don't care how I long I have to wait. I paid for them with my own money. I, I just don't, I mean, it doesn't bother me. You're being immortalized in Hasbro form and a figure is being designed by Ron Rudat. At the end of the day, it's not like. <laughs> well, I'm not talking tor- about mine. It's not torture. <laughs> I'm not talking about mine. I'm, I'm talking about the ones I bought. I, I'm putting oh, myself, I, you know, he's saying, where's Johnny Gargano? Where's I still think two years on a pre order or whatever is still wild or whatever, you know? The I Gargano guess, yeah. was, I think, December 2022. That's when it was listed. I, I th- unless, yeah, I think it was December. So, so. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's dealing with a larger factory than anyone's dealing with. I mean, he's dealing with the same factory that makes NECA, McFarlane, Mattel, a lot of a lot of the big guys, Sideshow. So he's probably getting put down at the bottom of the list a lot right. of the times. So other well, other manu- other says. manufacturers are uh, of more importance. So and, and at the end of the day, everything he makes is top freaking quality. So you know that that's part of the reason. The way Larry says I care because my money is building other figs now. What we ordered. Maybe. I don't know Maybe. if I agree with that necessarily. I don't think I think he's past that point for sure. Yeah. I don't think Way that's past that point. Yeah, I don't think I see what you're saying because that's what I say a lot about like certain companies, like why am I pre ordering because you know, um they're just using my money. I say that a lot, so I'm it sounds weird that I'm defending Zombie here, but I know what Zombie's doing, like he's got the money. You yeah, know I was gonna saying? say he's got the money. He he oh. paid me, you know, like he's he's paid the people. Yeah. Like he's doing good business. And the figures are are collectible. What Zombie needs pieces. to stop doing is is saying 
these these fantasy dates of when they're going to be in stock. Sure. Like, stop saying it's going to be in stock by the holidays. When you there's a, how do you what are you talking about? Yeah, I think it's people estimates. you get pressured into doing it. Yeah, it's probably also rough estimates from the from the vendor, and here the vendor probably just completely just I don't know. I don't know that kind of relationship, but yeah. Every <laughs> figure that he's vendor. come out with has been mind blowing. That's I, the thing, right? Yeah, that's I, what I love they've all say, been yeah. worth the wait. And it's yeah. not like it's like a, um, an AEW situation where you're like, where's the heel young bucks? You, your kid needs to play with the heel young bucks or like, you know, uh, you get these the Tony Storm in the wrong gimmick one year later after the, the debut. Like these kind of things are like, where are they? You know, the, that's that's when you would ask questions. But it's like, damn, who cares when Slick comes out? It's the same suit. It's the I mean, same I'm guy. Not, it's, I'm not exactly dying to own Slick. I mean, I will I, own yeah. it, but I'm not. Yeah. I would rather it be the best possible slick on earth then it be rushed into my hands but that yeah, but that I is totally me and i understand that people that. want what they pay for so and i'm just saying i believe we're almost at the point where no more pre-orders he's just gonna have stuff in hand so he once said we're that? there i think business is I mean, really that's, the, that's the theory i mean it's <laughs> it's been it's been like there's got to be probably like 30 different items in development so there's one wanna, that i'm thinking that i, I don't want to keep throwing of. shade but if like super seven can't do that we think zombie can do that yes i think he has some that are coming that he's already bought stock because he already coming. knows how many he's gonna order you know yeah. he, he, he made a fuck he decided okay i'm gonna order two thousand of these guys so he fucking ordered it right yes i think there's one in my mind that he's never met, uh, announced that is going to be on uh, huge it's like a i don't i i don't want to say it because i don't know if he's ever announced it but, uh, well, Zombie will be set up at WrestleCon right next reveals to us. and hell of a spread and things it's for sale. It's going to be a hell of a wall. It's going to be fucking Zombie Sailor, Brian and Swoggle, Big Rubber Guys, Mark, me Mark. And, and Mark, SDL <laughs> and Mance. It's going to be a hell of a fucking wall. Man. I can't wait. Destination. All right. Also, guys, we have the... Uh, Creations by designs. They do these. They do a lot of my custom Deathmatch King glasses. They do all my like any Deathmatch King style glasses you've seen. Uh, he's made, and he's also doing these replica checkered glasses, similar to what Macho Man wears in the commercial with the Hasbro. Ooh, so I like that. That's I thought that was cool. pretty cool. So they're just replica glasses. They're available. You go to his Instagram, Creation underscore by underscore designs. So they're just replica glasses, you know, Are checkered they glasses. Officially licensed? Not officially licensed. Wow, oh, come on. They're just checkered glasses. Yeah, but people you know, have been making that, these for years. That happen to look like the ones Macho Man was wearing in that Hasbro commercial. <laughs> oh man. So he makes the Deathmatch King glasses. I'll tell you that those are officially licensed, but they're not for sale. Yeah, but you could just get fifteen percent off your le- next order for that plug. <laughs> I think it's cool. No, <laughs> no you, you mean the glasses that are featured on the brand new Big oh Shots 16 there inch and 22 Dino's inch? My style. Look at those glasses, pal. You literally write Macho Man glasses on like Amazon. People have been doing this for decades. Yeah, uh, Brian, you used to sport a pair back on NXT or whatever. You used to I sport did, them. yeah. yeah. One, one time. All right, we got some, some ringside news. Anything else, D, or is that it? No, that's it. Actually, D, I wore those in a match and got fired. So there's yeah. Uh, your last match was uh, last, last, match, last held as WWE was, run. Was, yeah, was that uh, Adrian Neville? Yes. So yeah. be, So be careful with those glasses, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got news. Check out Ringside Collectibles WrestleMania sale going on now. Tons of figure deals to be had. New pre-orders WWE from the Vault exclusives featuring DX, uh, the Dudleys. Undertaker, Kane, Cena, and Warrior. I mean, what a lineup when you just read those names like that. It's crazy. New AEW pre-orders coming this week on Ringside Collectibles. A little birdie told nice. me that, too. That's very exciting. And new in stock, Hogan and Flair, Greatest Hits, Ultimates, Blood and Guts, Darby versus Brody. And now it's time for the Ringside Top 10. Top 10. This episode of the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast has been brought to you by Ringside Collectibles the number one online retailer of WWE action figures. Go to WrestlingFigures.com and make a purchase, and when you do, use discount code MAJOR at checkout to save 10%. Ringside Top 10 Brand new figures How much do you spend? Exhausting mailman. Ringside Top 10. 
Another sound, 17, number one again. Ringside, top 10. Use code major for discount at the end. Oh man, someone's gonna love this list if you're gonna know who that guy is after I read this top 10. Number 10, <sighs> Bubba Ray Dudley. WWE from the vault, ringside exclusive. Premium, premium item. Premium space on the list there. Number nine, Ultimate Warrior from the vault, ringside exclusive. Number eight, Cody Rhodes, Ultimate 21. Number seven, Swerve Strickland, Unrivaled 14. Number six, from the vault, the entire set. Number five, Undertaker from the vault. Number four, DX from the vault. Number two, John Cena from the vault. Number two, Hardcore Cade from the vault. Well, holy shit. People want this set. Man. Number one, the Dudley Boy set of two from the vault. A premium bookend. The bookend. Damn order right there. Premium wow. item. He's going <laughs> to love that. No, that son of a bitch. Was the only one not on list of Devon by itself? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but he's number one. He's, he's number one. He's number one. He's fucking number one. That's a big, big drop off for D, man. Number one. Uh, who, who, yeah, but that no, infers no, no, no. that there are people Hunter out there. Individually. Th- there oh, okay. are people out there that are buying the Bubba by itself. Dude, this fi- I'm telling you, those figures are a hundred plus dollar. They're tough, man. But like, why? Why would you just buy Bubba? Because he's Bully Ray. Uh, I guess. Bully Ray I legend. Guess. Okay. I, I all right. All right. He was number eleven. Thomas Kelly says. <laughs> and up next is weekly purchases brought to you by Major Ben. All right, guys, if you didn't know, now you're going to know. Matt and I have started our own toy line. Major Bendies are here. Assortments of modern-day superstars and the legends. And we've even expanded with the Big Rubber Guys. That's right. We have Major Bendies. We have the Big Rubber Guys, just like those LJNs from your childhood. Every month, we have new Major Bendies, new Big Rubber Guys, and now we have licenses like Jay and Silent Bob. So check out all these figures over on MajorBendies.com. Some might cost a little. Some might cost a lot. But I'm the thousand dollar broski. And your figures will be bought. (laughs) Weekly purchases brought to you by Major Bendy's. Go to Major Bendy's. Dot com right now. Get your extreme major bendies. Get your Diana Perrazzo exclusive, your Chavo Guerrero exclusive, and whatever else we have in stock. And don't forget to come back in April for some new big rubber guys. I know Brian's going to talk about the latest big rubber guys later. Does anybody but, want a peanut? Yes. But use the hashtag major bendies if we talk about your post on air you'll get a prize this one was from not today jackass so much at knick 8901 picture cheers to the hardest working man in flexible plastic it's a knick card sticker and signed figure wow just love a it knick, knick super fan a knick super fan all right, guys, weekly purchases. Let's fucking go. What Mark, we got? full, full screen me, Mr. Sterling. Full screen that son, bitch. God damn. Big rubber guys. Wave four in stock. Shipping this week all over the goddamn world. Knick working his ass off. I'm not kidding. When I opened these, I was, and I still am, just welling with pride. Like, we have built a goddamn super team. Behind these figures, I mean, this is an LJN. This is a super 2004 version of an LJN. Andre the Giant, blue strap variant, which is a lot more lower numbered than the regular black strap Andre. Larger than life. Here is, Macho's on my computer so you can't tell. 
Here's Macho and Andre height comparison right there for you. Look at that. Macho These are fucking incredible. With the insane 80s tan, unbelievable orange oh my trunks, God. boots, oh. the logo, LJN feel, smell, bend to it. Like, look at his arm. Oh, oh yeah. Shit. It's un effing believable. And then even this bad boy, the WrestleCon oh exclusive my God. in the green. Like, dude, TTD, Brian Beatty, Kinnick. It's just like unbelievable what we've done in a short amount of time. And every time they get better and better and better and better. And it's like, I'm just so goddamn proud. And I think I said it last time, like we really hit a home run with that Ric Flair, where I think when people got in their hand, they're going to go, oh shit, this is pretty, pretty something special. This is going to no, this blow, is gonna change blow your goddamn everything. socks off. Uh, Brian Beatty officially took over with this set. So this is him 100%. So basically what happens is me, Brian, Kinnick, TTD, we're the dream team, if you will. We're the ones, we're the creative control. We have the pencil. We have these booking meetings. We fantasy book. We make changes. We book talent. We figure it out. Then, you know, if we need D freedom, like, hey, D, what 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 outfit can we put, you know, like, and then he'll find us some good outfits, you know, then TTD draws it, then Brian Beatty fucking does the 3D sculpting. It's a whole fucking team. It's a teamwork. It's fucking unbelievable. And, and I think these are the ones where people are going to get in hand and be like, okay, this is fucking legit. However, in the Howard Finkel voice, bro, <laughs> this Andre on the secondary market is going to be through the fucking roof. And I think it's only going to get better and better or more expensive and more expensive as the figure line goes on. People are like, well, shit, I need the Andre. And we're not, you know, we already did the blue and the black. Like, we can't <laughs> repaint them again. Yeah, it's really, that's it. Like, you can't make that's it on Andre. And listen, full disclosure, we've been approached to re-release and we're not. We're not re release And now maybe in fucking five years, someone's going to play this episode back. So you said you would never re-release it. But as of now, the plan is to not fucking re-release. So these Andres, fuck. Like, I feel bad for the people who missed out. But I also don't because we fucking let everybody and their mother know about these. I mean, from our end, I don't, I mean, we're never going to be able to reach everybody. But we of did course. what we, you know, we could. The WrestleCon exclusive, stickered. Neon green macho. Oh my god, it's like And that's another thing I want to stress about this this Macho Man uh WrestleCon exclusive. We have allocated some for the website, so if you're not gonna be a WrestleCon, you know, don't necessarily, you know, worry, but still worry because it's not that many, you know, for the website. But also there's going to be a limit. You know, someone just casually uh emailed Kirk said, Oh yeah, can you save fifty of them for me? Like, no. <laughs> yeah, no holes, no, no, yeah. Two so I, and uh, online there'll be two two per limit. So yeah, so I, I think it's two per we're gonna do. So yep. man, like, and there's not as many as slick. <laughs> you know, I, does it say how many are on there in the green? What do you mean number? Like, does it say like out of how many? No, it just says WrestleCon exclusive and has a sticker. There. I want to say it's like five or six hundred to be yeah, honest. Yeah, it's not not plentiful. It's, it's cool. The plentiful. back the back is really cool because it has Bulldogs and uh, the Magnum and Hacksaw set. So like, really look start, at all that we've done. You're really starting to see the line time, come together you know? there with that, you know. I I actually think that uh you guys are going to uh like sort of really expand at WrestleCon because it's really the the who's who of wrestling fans, right? Just like right. going through that that thing and I, and I think that, you know, I know the plans for the for the booth and having the exclusive Macho Man, which is perfect. And there's just going to be a lot of people, literally, and you know this, that are seeing these for the first time. And they're going to have that nostalgic feeling for their big rubber guys as a, as a kid. And uh, you know, I think that you're going to really expand the audience at WrestleCon. It's a, it's a perfect opportunity. Yeah, there's mean, a lot of people out there that still don't know. That's all we can do, you know, is spread the word. Like, obviously, we're watching this show. You already know who we are, what we're about, and you've heard it all to death. But we got to reach, yeah. we got to reach even more people. You know, I, I had a. I work call of Magnum TA this week, and I said, Powertown and Big Rubber Guys are in the same exact boat. You know what I mean? Yep. Right. Making a great product, the pre order model, and it's selling for triple on the secondary market because people missed out and the word is spreading, but it's just spreading slowly, and we got to, you know, yeah. keep on trucking. But this is like something, too, 
Um, look, people that listen to the podcast, they know. People that uh, collect wrestling figures, like as a hobby, they know. But it this is something. Though. Not really. I'm telling you, man. Not really. Right. Sure. I'm sure there are people that collect that wrestling figures that don't know, but a lot of them do. But but this is a product that uh, could start people collecting. Exactly. I think this could get people fucking scratching that itch. Yeah, this, this is this this I think tickles the uh, the fancy of just wrestling fans in general, and these are the kind of people that have n- have never even seen it, don't know they exist. No, and that's another aspect I didn't even touch on. The fact that it's officially licensed Macho Man Randy Savage and Andre Giant figures that we made is like it's borderline overwhelming when you think about it. Yeah, it's pretty freaking cool. Yeah, I'm fucking. I'm super pumped. Uh, I mine have not come yet, but I can't wait to get them in hand. I I felt the samples at, at the live 18 that we did in Orlando. We had the samples. Uh, we had them for the commercial that we that we filmed, but. To have the real thing, the real macho, the real Andre officially licensed. Oh man, I'm pumped and and TTD has finished. Who's going to be in uh, in April? And holy shit, it's going to rock some worlds. So that's I only saw, a couple I weeks saw the away. Picks today look great. It's only a couple weeks away. So there's three new superstars coming in April. So uh, uh, we want to talk about some ringside stuff. I got some stuff from ringside go. today. Let's do um, it. Got, all right, I got this. The uh, oh, I got, I got that too. Hogan. I got it as well, and kind of like what we were talking about that last segment, like, you gotta have the other one out in, like, and realize how different it is. It's just, it's just the tan? It's, it's well, it's butterfly tan. joints it's and the, the butterflies, tan. butterflies, right? Yeah, butterfly joints and the tan, but man, side by side, like, I, because my other one was a fronter. It's a goddamn fronter sitting in my shelf, so it was very easy I to get. I do wish th- they would have fixed, I wish they would have fixed the boa. Because he didn't wear like boas like this in this time period. Unless I'm wrong, D, it shouldn't be a white and a black, or am I mistaken? Like two I thought boas. he didn't wear the boas. That's because they just keep reusing that mold. The, right? Yeah, this is the uh, this is the 2014 boas that Hogan wore. I mean, I think he started wearing them like probably in TNA and stuff. But yeah, yeah. it should be it should have the uh, Mr. America type boas. The oh, one he definitely that, wore boas in WCW because they're well, yeah, well, yeah. I'm I'm saying toy biz figures. Yeah, I'm saying I'm but I'm, no, I'm saying the mold like like the, the like oh, the this specific, style where it's all like one piece but two tone. Yeah, so the, the yeah, but what I'm saying one. is I I don't think this is early NWO Hogan. Well, Black. this is this is for added value for for play added value. value. Got yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, don't, yeah. I, yeah, like I it's in my accessory bin. I don't display with that. I do that the guitar. Awesome. I got him doing the guitar and the belt in my shelf. But like I had that other one, I pulled it out, so I was very visibly comparing them. Like it's drastically different. Like, I mean, Bill just, Bikina is you know more colorblind than Mark if he thinks Hogan's not tan. Yeah, you need an update because this thing is epic. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful figure. Um, well, as I'm more, opening this, what's I that? believe I believe the original was in our Hall of Fame. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's a, I was it was a fronter. I, you know, normally sometimes when I do this, I have to like dig, and it's a oh shit. Speaking of Hall of Fame, we didn't even fucking send out send fucking out uh, ballots. Yeah, we got to do ballots, huh? Oh my god, yeah. We're running out of time. We're not running out of time, but we we're not out of that. time. But we're yeah, running out of time. Yeah, we got like two weeks. Oh boy, I'm opening this right now. But I also I got this in. Um, did you get this, Brian? Oh, I did. I was going to do a live unboxing guts. of mine. Oh get... yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Oh. Here we the packaging go. Packaging on on these are just unbelievable. Oh, bro, you just came right. I wasn't sure if it was going to come that fast. Darby oh, Allen, Brody King, Last Man Standing, Dynamite, Quake by the Lake. 8 10 2022. Gonna get after it. I love blood and guts. We've talked about it many times. Just yeah. so fun to have wrestling figures with true, like, gigged blood, you know, not just like whatever blood. Like, yep. meaning, meaningful blood, I guess I'm trying to say. Two portraits here, alternate heads. Another set of hands. He's done packs on the uh, skateboard deck. Absolutely, he's done yeah, that a few times, oh, and that's I know cool, he did and that. You can then. feel it. I can yeah, feel it. you run your finger over that. It's a brand new sculpt for the for the skateboard, and a brand new uh, screaming head. Uh, yeah, so the board is a full blown just thumbtack board and has no wheels. That's awesome. Only I remember this match is like I didn't actually. I don't think I watched this match. I just remember all the like social clips. He was like choking him out, right? And he was like bleeding out. Yeah, on yeah. the ropes. Brody had um. As they say, great color in this. It was like a really dark color on his forehead. And, uh, you know, Man. 
here's here's the funny thing. He's walking in the back after, beelining it past me, right? And I go, hey man, you where's good? Mark great? and catering? He, I go, hey man, you good? Uh, you good? That was great, or whatever. He goes, I'm going to still photo because I want one of those bloody figures. He's smart. <laughs> that, smart I mean, man. That, that rules. That is how amazing. cool is look, that? Look at that picture was, right it, there. It was used on the packaging. Yeah. Oh my god. Yep. What a genius. Wow. Smart it's man. crazy because, like, obviously the color on his face is color on his face, but like because he's so tatted, and the way they integrate in the tats, like, that is deco hit city Bro, man. I love it. They're on like the fingers, the way it looks on the fingers. Yeah. I love. Yeah. Like, even look at like his his knee pads, like the molding in the knee pads, the texture of the knee pads. Yeah. These are fucking potentially figures of the year, right? Doctor Death Rinks boots. Exclusive rule. His blood on the boots. Oh my god. Splattered blood in the back there. Damn. What a cool fucking... I, I just love everything about this whole Man, series. Yeah, I guess you got to think that this, this literally, this screen portrait is that off the packaging, huh? Yeah. That's still yeah. photo, photo. Well, he was scanned, but yeah, so... What you know that's what mean, they like, based it off the of, inspiration. Yeah. Yep. And these uh, these compare with the, the, uh, the Comic-Con too. Sting. Man, what what a great line, this blood and guts. Brody on. work in this... Necklace? Not sure. Look, I it came down to the ring with it. It looks like he's getting choked out in the in the back with it. Oh yeah, maybe that's what he got choked out with. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's cool. Is that what's? Oh, got it. That's sweet, dude. But you can uh, pair really the. Uh, you can pair the Comic Con Sting with this because that's what that's based off of. That's quick by the lake, the one with that uh, comes with the, uh, um, the uh, the coffin. So this is technically a coffin match, not a Last Man Standing match, right? Yeah, the they were. We, we, yeah, we corrected that a couple of weeks ago on the show. It's understandable right? why they because it doesn't include anything coffin based. So got to right, word it right. as something because they always put that subtitle, that subheading on it on every packaging. So like the Wheeler Yuta, I think it said Forge and Combat or something somewhere, and then the oh, Rip Baker okay. said Role Model. So they had to have some type of subheading below the blood and guts man darby's man, sweet too everything about if you're a mineral card collector this is fantastic very nice window box and the the placement of the like even the uh the blood has a, a special effect on that so like if you got these signed in a red it's, it's like all bloody yeah look awesome really cool i love i, the, I love the uh the screen portraits are way more fun yeah really cool. that's great I also got another AEW figure this week. You did. I got... Oh, you got it. Oh, after you much talked uh, about debate. It last week. Um, I got, like, which sting is the defining sting, the AEW sting? I believe it was the first one we talked about last week. I had one mint on card anyway, but I needed a Lucy one. This is the one I'm going to keep as the definitive sting because it has all the texture in the jacket. All the gold that that D was saying the the uh, Supreme is missing out on the uh, on the arms. I just think it's incredible, really cool. I just man, so great. And you know what's super cool? Like he's gonna be at Squared Circle Expo. Yeah. And uh, I never like, of course, I met Sting when he was backstage at WWE stuff like that. But I never have a picture with Sting except for this one childhood photo <laughs> where I'm giving a wrestling buddy a full Nelson. It's not even the real sting. It's my friend, <laughs> my dad's friend, Kenny Deason. Uh, so, I'm with you, broski. I'm down to get a picture of sting. Hear me out though. I'm thinking about bringing my wrestling buddy, recreating the photo where I'm giving him the full Nelson with sting and then having sting sign the wrestling buddy. That's cool. And then you could even get the, at Square Circle Expo, you could print the photo out and get eight by ten. You could sign it right Bro, there. On the I spot. already tried. I already tried to con Ed into making our sessions like back to back, so I don't have to be like a mark. And I'm like, oh, Sting, you just happen to be oh, here. Oh, Steve, what are you doing here? Well, because like I want Sting to walk in the room when fans are taking pictures with us. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> oh my God, I'm too far. You know what I'm saying? No, that's smart. But uh, I don't know if he's gonna do that. But I hope Ed does. I'm the goddamn champ. But look at this, Sting, incredible. Hey, here's a here's a little update. I pulled out the 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 Hogan. Yeah. Okay. I opened both. All right. Oh it's my crazy, god. Right? And that and that and like it's in person. It's even crazier actually. This tan Hogan is makes so a big, that's Hogan, makes boy. a big difference. Yeah. That's fucking Hogan. Do you notice any other differences or that that's it? I looked pretty hard. I well, really can't. Yeah, the torso is a different torso. That's the uh, that's the Wave 13 torso. So. 
Yeah, like the gloves the are the joints, same. The hands obviously. are the same. That torso, I think, was only used on the the wave, the initial the wave seven release, and then the uh, fan takeover Amazon exclusive one. So, yeah, everything is the same, really. Cool. It's it's the year of tan figures, man. We got our our big rubber guy Macho. We got the uh, that it. that ultimate ultimate warrior that went to Target. <laughs> that was insane. I like it. They finally have given in. Some the year of, I got year of the hot dog. Jason Dunhill. <laughs> guys, I got the starting lineup basketball hoop. What on earth are you I doing think I that? need it for the, the ringside Major Bulls two-pack. Wow. Is he gonna, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're going to do a little Have those ski? Major Bulls out there. That's cool. With the starting lineup hoop. He's that thing is these, sweet. These, these have been going for like relatively cheap at, at, at some discount store. Ollie's and Marshall's. And yeah. It's crazy. TJ Maxx. So, uh, I think, but you I never know what this. you never. It's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. You don't know what. <laughs> It's going to be there. It's not like everything's there. Right. Yeah. Um, hey, I got I something. Also, what okay, do you get? Go I got oh, something pretty got, unique. No. Uh, Let's go. Um, be totally honest with you. I completely effing forgot I bought these. Okay. I got the um, Series 4, I guess, Disney Super 7, which was. Oh, Nightmare? Nightmare Before Christmas? Nightmare Before Christmas, yeah. So. Boogie, 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 boogie there. Hey, oh, no massive, more, huh? no more cardboard, huh? No more cardboard boxes. What do you mean? The shipper, the outside thing. Oh shit! I yeah, you're right. I just noticed that. Yeah. I'll I'll just show you the Jack Skellington here. It's it's obviously smaller. This was this was a set of three. There's only three. That's Man, awesome. I really wish I loved Nightmare Before Christmas because I'd want this. My kids still dabble from time to time. It's pretty cool. I, I'm my my luster for this line is gone because it's dead. It's over, right? Uh, which is sad because it was awesome, and they didn't get to some of the best Disney characters Ooh. ever. They didn't get to anybody really? Who's the third, Sally? Yeah. Cool. I mean, it's a it's a really cool set, but like I said, this was the last. I think this is the last one. Well, so Mark, they don't I owe anybody Super anymore. As well, that cool. That the, looks great. She's soft goods. Dress, soft goods dress. Yeah, it's cool. It, it's really cool. I mean, it's a perfect uh, thing. Is, this, to have. is that real hair, like doll hair? No. No. Okay, I can tell. No. So, it's Mark, plastic, I got but... some Super Sevens as well. Except I got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Check this one out. Slam Dunkin' Don. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's oh, sick. Hey, I, I can use that with the basketball hoop. It's yeah, in your hey, face. That's really bought it for you. Um, so this is kind of like the Playmates, but not quite, because the Playmates one is wearing like a 23 jersey. Oh, yeah. What the heck? And Were they scared also, to get in trouble, you think? Um, what's that? Oh, no. They had to make them different, right? We went over they this, They had right? to make them different, yeah. And also, I mean, they did make one in the white, but the, the real one that we all know and love is the red jersey. Yeah. But I had to get this anyway. I got the whole set. So there's a flocked splinter. There's Zach, the like neutrino guy. Yep. And the wing nut and screw loose. Is that their wing name? Nut. Yeah. Yep. So I got the whole set, but th- I wasn't going to show them all here. I'll post pictures on social media, but I wanted to show this off. I got the Krang. Oh, wow. So I'm not quite sure if this is like supposed to go with your Super 7s. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because it has like this like Japanese writing, Super Cyborg. Yeah, why so is this so like Yeah, it like doesn't even brand. really look like the cart. Oh, it's supposed to be look like the the figure Krang. Is that like a one off? Yeah, so I, I'm not quite sure. It, this does look like the Playmates figure Krang. Yeah, it does. So I don't know, like if it's supposed to be with the other ones or what. You know? Yeah. But I'm gonna. I think it looks incredible. Oh, these here, I runner attack. It, I really love it. Um, seven points of articulation, Dimension X Krang, Android Super Seven. This looks awesome, like in the box. I, I just love Japanese writing. I just yeah. love it. So, looks so really cool. This is like its own, like uh, like assortment. They they have like a ah, Godzilla like it. this. They have like a Godzilla like this. I think they might have a Gill Man like this. They have like various characters to where like you open up the chest and it's like a bunch of like. Uh, but couldn't you you mishmash. couldn't you display this with your Super Seven Turtles though? Yeah, I guess technically if you put the chest plate back on. So yeah, just put the chest yeah. plate back on. But I think like that's what it was marketed 
as a part of like it's like a like they have like a, a segment to where it's all just various characters with robot God. insides. So well, I had to get it because I love my Super Seven figures. I was kind of on the fence if I was going to keep them, and then once I got that um, the wagon, I was like, I'm fucking all in. <laughs> That's true. You know, you got the itch. You guys get anything else? That was I'm it for out. me for the week. All right, guys. These next purchases uh, I got. We talked about this on the Princess Bride episode. I got the Fezzik, but then on the episode, we realized I got the wrong one. I didn't even realize there was two. I can't believe I didn't so, realize it either until we did So this one's co- going to be on Whatnot Monday, and hopefully next week I'll have the new one. I just want to talk about that real quick and plug I may or may not episode. have bought all the entire set while we well, were let's recording. Let's go. Well, guys, to be continued. This? You guys ready here? Yeah. I said I'm all in on the big shots, right? Yeah. Woo! Woo! Wow. No hair. No flair. Woo! I'm in, baby. I, I have, have the that brat. baby. Let's go hit catering. <laughs> <laughs> I have the Brett. I have the macho. I have the flair. I'm going to get the Matt Cardona. I'm going to get the Bulldog. But guys, <laughs> look at this macho. Holy <laughs> crap. Andre. Yo, you I better charge it. him rent. Oh, my Bro. God. Look like the size difference is that unreal. is wild. You charge him rent, this. man. Big I love shots, it, baby. What did that come in, bro? A fucking mailer bag. It came in. Well, I guess it doesn't need to be in a box, but man, this is fucking huge. It's a giant <laughs> wrestling buddy. That's Dude, really cool. You unbelievable. You didn't get bread? No, I have bread already. Oh, okay, cool. I got. I talked about bread a couple months ago. What, where are I, you going to put I, these? I texted Michael Dawkins, our lawyer. I said, did you get this, Andre? He said, yeah, but I got the smaller one. I said, what? How do you Dockets. get the smaller one? I'm disappointed <laughs> well, in you, pal. He probably doesn't have a spare bedroom. Need. This is the one you need. That is the intense. The first ever Andre the Giant wrestling buddy. It's <laughs> fucking incredible. <laughs> it looks like Woo! that picture right there. Marky Mark says Rick is looking at Andre in awe. Oh, yeah, funny. that was a perfect shot. Well, Rusky ruined it. huge. But. It's fucking huge. God. I love it. His head what, is bigger than mine. What are you going to do with those, broski? Cuddle with well, them. I, have, I collect wrestling buddies. I know, but you're just going to pile them up in the corner like you have it? Well, when I have my toy room displayed, they'll have their own little section, but yes. Oh, cool. So, like, I'm not going to be a completist on the um, on the big shots. Like, for instance, they make, like, three versions of Hogan. Yeah. They're going to make a couple different Macho Mans. I just need one of each. Yeah, yeah. 100%. But the Hogan's were like Hogan's Beat Shop exclusives and very, very limited and rare. <laughs> so I need to track one down on eBay. But yeah. I don't know I don't know exactly which one I want. You know? I yep. got to figure that out. But I'm loving these big shots, baby. I'm in. Yeah. I told, yeah, I told you. Pal. I have the flare. It's prominently displayed right next to the me and the uh, my original, my childhood Ultimate Warrior. So yeah, Jack, Jack Byron saying, I got Brett after seeing Matt got his. I need to stop watching these videos. <laughs> well, he's not even that. just watching the video. He's watching us live. Live, yeah. All right. What about some uh, some fan uh, major mark purchases of the week? Yeah, let's head to that segment now. All right. Here we go. Uh, number one, right there. We talked about it, guys. Dave Wheeler says, in a bit of fig fate, after listening to last week's episode, I found the unrivaled stinger on the pegs at my local Target. I'd been holding off on AW version as I had the same debate the boys had on last week's episode. This is a great representation of his final run in Which the ring. I heard that. I was on the fence about getting that one as well. I heard that one is sold out at ringside, too, after yeah, last yeah. weekend's mayhem. All right, boys, uh, he's in the chat. I know it. Chris Grocock, check this out. Uh, went to Beyond Wrestling Friday in Boston and was able to add four autographs to my cap ring, CPA, Bryce Donovan, Bobby Orlando, and Aaron Rourke. Uh, that brings me to 14 signatures on here. Brian, can you tell me who's on this ring? Platinum Max, Caster. Yep. yep. Steve Somerset. I hope you didn't pay for that. Um <laughs> Well, the ones you just mentioned, there's Mark, yeah. me, yeah. Statlander. Chris. Yeah. Steve Azure on the bottom St- right. Oh, okay. Which is Stang, if we're breaking yeah. kayfabe here. Who's above Chris? Bryce Donovan, sorry. 
CPA. CPE, yeah. Who is... Who's B? Who oh, Bobby Orlando. J.J. George. That's the one I couldn't read. J. George in there. That's VSK. Cool. Uh... Yeah. So yeah, he needs Bronson. I'm wondering, did did the guys charge you, Chris? Did they charge you at all? <laughs> God. Jesus. We're gonna have a cap gimmicks class. Guys, we're not doing drop kicks today. We're doing selling gimmicks. Yeah. You're pissing me off. I, I'm I'm really curious if the, if any of them charge. Okay. Uh, number three, nice little story here. Ant Rotundo says, "You know how we all have those stories where we sold our collection and since uh, then some part of it skyrocketed in value." I sold a significant part of my comic book collection, including New Mutants 98, which is the first appearance of Deadpool about 20 years ago. I sold them to a co-worker who retired and moved away. Well, he called me a month or so ago and asked me if I would want them back for what he paid for, around 150 bucks, since he was downsizing. Needless to say, I said yes and picked them up the other day. There were some other bangers in the in the lot too. About seven hundred books in total. I still can't believe it. How many times in our lives do we get a redo of our biggest collection mistakes? That's pretty unheard of, actually. But yeah, good for you. Right, Fate. the same guy. If that's if you really love something, you have to let it go. If it comes back to you, it's meant to be. I love this. I love this. Yeah, Added this another is... autograph, Shane Little, to my ready to rumble poster over the oh, weekend, that's awesome. Joe. Pantaleano, a.k.a. Titus Sinclair, was added to the David Arquette and Rose McGowan. Now to send it off to Marcus Brandon and Lucas Cuccio to get it signed by a few more people over WrestleCon weekend. So here's my funny thing. Man, that's Joey cool. Pants, in some of the most famous movies of all time, one of the most famous actors of all time, right? Sopranos, freaking The Matrix, and he's signing this Ready to Rumble poster. I would have loved, like, I know what you're saying, because I would have loved to know his reaction. Like, really? That's what I'm saying. Really? Yeah, he's like, what? I'm this glad. this role that I'd it like to forget up. that I was yeah. that I was in. <laughs> this movie, this movie that I don't want anyone to know I did. <laughs> yeah. All right, Broski. No. No. Fuck off. There you go, buddy. Simon White. Could this? this be the greatest Lock piece of Broski yeah. merchandise? <laughs> That's real, Broski. It's real. It was like a UK thing, I believe. It came. With, like, I found this last week and had to buy it. it includes tattoo of Matthew Cardona's face. <laughs> That came in the mag, like the kids' magazine thing they have. I forget exactly where it was. Like fucking, I, I hated bet. this run. I hated everything about it. I fucking man makes me fucking sick. Like ugh, <laughs> horrible. The only like uh. highlight is that there's the the two pack. You know, if we if that if I went through all that misery and didn't even get a two pack out of it, Oof. you know what I'm saying? I do hear what you're saying. Actually, that's rough. At least we got a two pack. Fuck. <sighs> All right, this is uh, from our good friend here, Billy Peck. I got probably my all-time favorite Ninja Turtles figure signed by creator Kevin Eastman. Michelangelo is my favorite turtle, and Frankenstein's monster is my favorite universal monster. When Kevin signs, he will usually include a sketch of a turtle head, and I I very politely asked if he didn't mind if he would make Mikey uh, have a bit of a Frankenstein look. He loved the idea, and now I have a pretty unique, if not one-of-one signature. I can't believe how easily he cranked that out for him like it's unbelievable it's so well, cool. he's an artist i know but even knowing that he's an artist like that's yeah so cool yeah it's great cool. idea by billy to even you know the squeaky wheel gets the grease kind of thing you know what i mean like you don't yeah. know if you don't ask the definition I mean, think of, of, yeah, the think definition of a broski no right there if if somebody said hey, broski would you draw your face on the thing he would probably oh what would you do broski you say give it me 700 like dollars i would do it i guess yeah that's what i'm saying <laughs> All right, last but I meant one. This, in the sense that there's been so many things in working with Broski where he'll be like, no. We're like, well, can we at least ask and see what they say? And then <laughs> well, yeah. it usually comes true. Yes. I, I do, what I will this? say that I've noticed Broski has softened on his no a little on his bit. No bombs? To the fans, at least, he will say things like, as of now, it's a no, <laughs> but never say never. You know it's what I'm a saying? hard no. It's no longer a hard no. It's a, it's a soft no. I think actually, I see what you're saying, but I think it's very important to be able to make quick decisions, whether they're right or wrong, and then you adjust. There are some there are certain people that who like dilly dally fucking forever. Well, Just make the, a fucking decision. There's, a, there's an in between, you know. Yeah, <laughs> sure. There's an in between. But I'd rather be. I'd rather make a decision than be indecisive. Right. 
What I'd rather make mark? the right decision. Uh, okay, Joseph James scored this King of the Ring original printout this weekend at a local estate sale. Come to find out that it's one of the first prints of the original logo, which was designed by the owner of the house. Apparently, he worked as a WWF graphic designer from 89 to 94 and got to do lots of cool stuff wow. that many of us know well. He designed many of the trading cards, several iconic logos like this King of the Ring. I also scored a vintage WWF New York transit token banner that would have been used in a sub way so glad i took the three minute drive down the block for the sale wish i knew years ago that he was so close i would have been offering to buy stuff on the regular we both lived near each other for over 30 years that is very unique wow Holy yeah shit. very unique right all right that's it where are we that's going it. up next we have some snub superstars All right, guys, it's snubbed superstars. A major mark will choose a toy line. A mark will surprise us with that line. We'll say, who was snubbed? Not not everyone that was missing, but who got really fucked, screwed, snubbed? Fucked superstars maybe should have been the name. You know? We should have went with that, yeah. <laughs> Brian, buckle in. Chris Giovanni says, ECW original San Francisco toy makers. I mean, I've, this, I've been obsessed with this for years, so I have, like... Did we didn't do this? Or it, I think no. we've just talked about it over the years so many times. We've talked about it before, yeah. We certainly Obviously, talked about it in the episode. The, By the way, full e- origi- ECW original San Francisco toy maker history of episode on our YouTube. It's a phenomenal two camera shoot. Two camera shoot. Uh, years baby. ago, years great ago, quality. You shit see every ton of views. Yeah, you see every figure. Okay, uh, go ahead. Brian. There's also I, if you're going to go down that rabbit hole, you should check out the No News New Jack. Tale that's oh, a documentary well. we made, yeah. yeah. Um, so obviously, the layup answer to this we knew because the prototype surfaced at least online that there was a roadkill. So, Danny Doring and Roadkill, they were the last for sure tag team champions, they were you know pivotal part of at least like the last three years there, definitely deserving of figures. Um, and then I've always said Mikey because he had just mm. come back, changed his look, like long hair, Mikey, long pleather hair, pants, pleather Mikey. tajiri pants, Mikey. Was a missing piece and the ultimate number one snub of the original San Francisco Toy Makers ECW era is our past guest at Kowloon's that hat that Broski's wearing. LSD, little Spike Dudley, because uh, he I was in the title picture. He was all over. I mean, he was a top guy basically in that era of, of those figures and he didn't get a sniff there. Many people were, you know, skipped, but I think those were really snubbed. Snub uh, Spike with that Tanaka yeah. Masato Masato Tanaka is like he the end, it's kind of like he could have qualified for sure. I think if I had to pick five, he'd be on the list, especially because he was the champ and then he was right. tag champ. That's what but, I'm uh, thinking. But uh, he's he's like gone by like early 2000. It's not that long. Of a, you know. What about what about like could Bigelow have been in series one or is he gone? No way. Yeah, no, we're series one comes out. Summer August '99, but so but Shane, how how quickly does Shane, Shane goes to WWE July '99 or something like that? Okay, you know what I'm saying, right? All right, and well there really you have the, it. I knew I knew photos, Brian would have that. I'm getting real D freedom on you guys, but the photos that they use for most of them are shot from '98. So in that sense, maybe they could have shot Bam Bam, but he would have been long gone though. Which we we all know is. F- totally fine in action figure world nowadays. Yeah, I know. We still got CM Punk AEW figures coming out. Right. I, I do wish we would have gotten... I mean, dude, with the when Series 1 drops, Taz is basically gone, is, has, has left like right... The Dudleys are basically gone. The Dudleys are gone for Series 2. It's all, you know... They, they I would have... Like, a Carino with the blonde hair would have been nice. They did make With like the real, you know, the real Carino. Trunks. Trunks. Would have been... World champion Trunks. Right. More over Karina would have been cool yes, for sure. That's true. But, but nobody got like a second mold or a second, you know, Sabu was gonna. Right. And he was long gone by that point too. Yeah. So mm. I don't remember that. But Oh, yeah. It's a very interesting line. And maybe one day those prototypes will come up. But God, please. I mean, I mean, Roadkill, I think, has to be number one because at least we saw the proto. I've done everything I can. I've, I mean, I've, I'm tapped out on resources to even, you know. Well, Dreamer claims he has some prototype in his basement, but I don't believe. Obviously, it. unfortunately, uh, 
Robbie Kane off Jewish Lightning has passed away. Um, you can learn more about him in that uh, the Toys That Made Us episode. He's a very interesting right. character. But um, but even then, when when he was alive, I was in, I got a hold of him a couple times, and he didn't he didn't have much information. Because you also got to remember that these are just toy lines to people, you know. Yeah, they're not living and dying by going, man, I was really hoping to get that Danny Doring out. You know, it's like, it's a rare case if they're, you know. And actually, I think things are a little more different nowadays. I think people working on AEW and Mattel are... No, because they're more, diehard fans. More you know? passionate about not only the toys, but the product. The that business. They're, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm seeing four years ago, 176,000 views. Complete history of ECW. Original San Francisco wow. Toy Maker figures, major wrestling figure Four podcast. years ago? Check it out. Yeah, that was like a first pandemic thing we did, I feel like. I got to say, looking at it, you know, uh, well, I don't know what I was thinking for the setup as far as just, <laughs> you see the tripod in the shot and all that stuff, but really? you know, whatever. By the way, I think- for more incentive to watch that, it's all my autographed minnow card figures are, on, you know, being handled and shown on camera. Right. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, our business model and intent back then was strictly audio also and i think i was just filming it just as a bonus we were we were like the audio version's coming yeah (laughs) and also yeah we'll get this video version too which is obviously way better and more popular and all that stuff so anyway i love our history that's it moving on up next the q a brought to you by blue chew Well, guys, I mean, I don't know if you've, you've seen Chelsea's social media, but as we record this, it's Monday night. She wore some Ghostbusters-esque gear. Really? And, I, and you know what they say, busted makes me feel good. I might not even need Blue Chew tomorrow when she gets home and she wears that gear, but because I'm always ready, I'll take it just in case. <laughs> true, true. <sighs> just in case. All right, questions. All right, my question is from the dick. Uh, at Saves Tuesday. Did you ever have a special music for a wrestler in your fig fed? I 100% used Brett's You Start to Fire in Me as his mania entrance <laughs> song and switched to Undertaker for whom the bell tolls. Hashtag Ash Major Pod. I loved that question because it sparked this memory that I had of playing with figures I hadn't thought about in years that when I first got ECW Series 1, I was playing with them and I didn't have like deep purple CD or anything, or it wasn't just on the radio, like to, to play for Shane Douglas. So I, when I, uh, I built to a match with him against Sabu yep. and I played in the air tonight by Phil Collins. What? But, why? but, but yeah. Yeah. he didn't come out until the drum part hit. So the whole crowd, oh, which what is a like, long intro, <laughs> bro, which is just, the whole crowd, which is just me and my, crazy imagination like waiting for like it simmers it simmers and then it's like lights up and it's like and then the franchise comes. i got chills just telling you guys the story oh the franchise God. comes out through the curtain bro that's great great i idea. just came up with that i have no idea why or what what did that but i had a phil collins greatest hits cd you know that i think i stole from my parents and i was like yeah. this is what we're working with because i thought it was awesome i i think i might have done the same thing with the brett you know because those those albums are so like unique. Um hundred percent when those came great, out. When those came out, if you had a bone crunch of that guy, you were good at doing it and playing. You are like, completely pathetic. Yeah, even though like it's not it's not hundred percent what you want, but it no. was like crazy it was exciting. Good enough for, for me, pal. For the time, yeah. I didn't I didn't uh, to be totally honest, I never I don't know if I ever really did play real music. I just did it with my mouth yeah i mean i mean 90 percent of the time my playing days was my mouth but i also went through there where i had the game boy where i'd play off my game boy like the shitty like dit, 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 dit version of like sexy boy because like yeah yeah beggars uh, once choosing. aol was around and you could download the songs plus the cds it yeah. was always fucking entrance music no matter what and then yeah. i remember for the sega saturn in your house I don't even know how I figured this out, but if you put the game in a CD player, it would play the entrance music. So I was able to get like Owen Hart, like what stuff a like wild that. Wild trivia fact. Yeah, wild trivia fact. I wonder if uh, Johnny Clash knows that. 
Game Marsh well, podcast. I think that's a tidbit that people knew. I think that you could play this. I think that was one of the things about the Sacred Saturn is that you could play. Sacred Saturn series. wasn't like a long lived system, like. Right, it was only around for so long. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't Freshman long. year of college, I when somebody had the Sega Saturn. Oh my god, that was in junior high. Jesus Christ! Uh, <laughs> college. Mark, Freshman my, year of college, my, my first buddy marriage, John had, a Sega, had uh, Sega Saturn. <laughs> Sega Saturn. Yeah. Oh my god. All right. Well, I think it was on its way out, to be honest. But PPW podcast. When fans come up to meet you and present a sharpie to sign a figure, do you discourage that and try to advise them to a paint pen? Do you ever encourage other wrestlers at cons to use the paint pens for their signings too? Hashtag ask major Bond. Yes, Listen, across the board. If someone brings a Sharpie, yes, I'm like, absolutely not. I use a paint pen. Even yeah. like- But we have our own paint pens me, on the table. Like they have a paint pen and I can tell it's like one of the skinny paint pens. I'm like, ugh, those suck. Oh, you know? I hate, I hate when they're I like, say, hey, do you mind if I use this go. one? I'm like, this is going to look terrible. I promise yeah. you. You don't yeah. want me to do this. Uh, do I ever try to incur? I don't care about other wrestlers. Uh, what they do, but this is what I wanted to say. So, beyond right, two thousand people, right, mm-hmm. dude. <laughs> At one point, I was the only person selling gimmicks. Then Mark came, and we were the only two people selling gimmicks. <laughs> I couldn't fucking dude, believe it. That makes me Bro, sick. There was one I hour made, of the before the show. One I hour. Made, so that's even less of. A commitment, like more of a reason to do it. Like, it, you're, it's all you got. Good. Oh, I know. That, no, no. I'm saying, I'm saying, there was a whole full hour of fans being in the building, Ugh. um, before the show started. That I don't understand. Like, what are these people? Like, Alec Price, great guy, didn't even have a fucking table set up, and it's his whole town. Stood there. Stood there. <laughs> like, I couldn't fucking fathom. Like, they came, like during the intermission, there was more people out there. Intermission was what twenty minutes. <sighs> yeah. I made thousands of dollars, and partially, I believe that's because there was no one else to go to. Man, that's why I don't intermission. And, and intermission. The regular about people were just there. The money. It's um, not. Maximum male models had a great line. Joey and Alley Cat and stuff were there for intermission. Willow and Chris were there, so there was like a lot of great people to get signatures. I know Willow and Chris were like thinking, like, should I go? I said, what? Oh my god! Yes, Listen, guys. I. And I <sighs> This is and gonna sound I, I really say, what? Get, get this out of the way before we get too far down this level. It's not just about the money. The money. Look, can I? Can I just say I, we're on the same page? That's the money is a big deal. Don't get me wrong, because you can. It's about the fucking experience. Like if someone's the there to see you, meet you, that, they can meet the real human behind the character and have a better understanding of who you are and like be supportive of you in your career and like have a great moment. You know what I mean? Like that goes a long way. Like. Meeting someone, shaking their hand, looking them in the eye, saying, Thanks for supporting the show and coming here and seeing me and putting putting your money where your mouth is. Like, that goes a long way. So, just to not do it because you think you're too cool or famous or lazy, it's just, or that no one's going to be there. Trust me, you're going to have your lonely Virgil moments, bro. We all do. That's just, that's the name of the game. I know a lot of people that don't do it because of that, because their pride and their ego gets in the way because there's a fucking three minute gap where no one's at your table. Like, Get over yourself, man. Like you're not the rock. It's just is what it is. Like guys, I, I was pretty lonely, Virgil. I was pretty lonely, Virgil, at the show. But you know, I've been going to Beyond now for fucking five years, and I go all the time. So it's like I seen these people. They have Mark Sterling figures and whatever the hell. But I I was able to talk to a few people, especially some major marks that had never gone. And I I told Broski I quadrupled my money before the show even started, as far as like what I was being paid. Now this is gonna sound really douche baggish out of everyone on that show i'm almost positive i need the money the least so why am i the one out there <laughs> trying to make the money it's a great i mean you know what i'm saying that did sound douche baggish but that's that point was perfectly acceptable right like <laughs> perfectly acceptable. i'm the one who doesn't need the fucking money uh. and i'm trying to make more money when all these people who bitch about how they don't get paid enough on the indies blah 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 blah, blah Go fucking sell something. Sell an eight by ten. Sell a Create fucking sticker. Create a fucking a shirt, fan anything. that's going to be your fan for a lifetime. You know what I mean? Like, uh, like, God well, damn. you got to pull Brian. You got to pull Joe and Gabby aside because Gabby. It's not, the Bronson like, thing. It's two years ago, I brought in Gallows to work Bear because I knew he'd have a great experience. You know, two people I love having a match. It's a beautiful thing. Literally, Gallows pulled me aside after he goes. 
That kid's awesome. He's going to be a big star in this business. He's fucking great. But if he ever doesn't fucking go out there and do gimmicks again, I'm going to tell him I'm going to beat the shit out of him. <laughs> That's how I just don't, upset I don't he was. Understand. They like, like you, you're back there calling spots. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Well, they My, also were wrestling Willow, who was at her table during intermission. So there was no excuse. Like, oh, they, that's they, even. They wrestled Willow after intermission. Willow was at her table during intermission. So you had nobody to even call the match with. But Gabby is very over, and she is a very nice girl and very personable and has a great look and all that she's stuff. Like, be a big star, dude. She's like, somebody. She worked she, for AIW last week, and John Thorne, of course, asked me about her before yeah. the book was official. I said, dude, she's green at the moment, but she's going to be incredible. Like, she works her ass off. She's ridiculously strong. She's got her head in the right place and her heart in the right place. It's only a matter of time. But like, but it's a very attractive personality, right? So it's like people want to meet her. That's why she should be there. There's <laughs> there's meet. no excuse. And and if you want to like pretend that you're old school and you're a heel and that's why you don't want to fucking that's sell, the first of all, get over I've yourself. Heard, and second yeah. of all, be a fucking dick at the table. Don't make a dime, but make people hate you even more. Okay, asshole. There's no fucking excuse that not would to be, be at the table. If you're really a prick and think that's your excuse, then sure, then do that and have fun. But yeah, there's that's... no excuse not to be out there. I try to make as much money as I'm getting paid every single show, and that's not possible because another douchebag thing, I make a lot. But there, there's no way these wrestlers can't make more than they're getting paid. You know I've what I'm saying? Never, dude, I've never been to a show and been like, Man, I'm too hurt or too tired or to have too much pride to not go out and, and go to the table. This never happened once in my whole my there, whole career. There are certain I always times go. if I get to if I get to a show and I'm fucking first, I'm like fuck, I just can't do it before. Or like when I wrestled Ziggler in L.A., there was a lot of pressure and we were first. I'm like I'm just not gonna sell today. But nine point nine times out of ten, I'm fucking selling every chance I can. Fucking before intermission, after. But you didn't go out for intermission. Or there was no intermission after For what? the Ziggler. GCW yeah. doesn't do intermission. Oh. Yeah, because it's streaming. Yeah. yeah, if there's a time crunch circumstance, I'll give you a pass. But other than that, man, holy shit. You're just missing such a big opportunity to to create something bigger, like a fan base, and just make connections. And Dude, I, Creative Pro, when I wrestle Creative Pro, A, I've never been paid to do it in 10 years because it's my company, right? So I'm basically working for free. And then I'm there every month, so it's my worst place to sell gimmicks. It's like dreadful like that's the same with me and beyond it's point it's all borderline pointless but i go every time just to like see the people say thank you for coming most of the time it's people ask me questions about joining the school or whatever and there's there's no money (laughs) to be made you know what i mean i still do it every time i still bring my giant ass bag full of all my shit just in case you know there's one kid who wants a fucking brian myers keychain i don't know yeah, and that's the thing. And like, like Josh Breezy is a major mark wrestler. He, 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 the other day, he, he, he texted me or DM me. He said, "Just wanted to say thank you. Just made the most money I've ever made at my merch table tonight. Just from like listening to the stuff we do or that YouTube video I made. It's like, it's not that fucking difficult. I'm not saying you have to charge as much as us or as me, but you, you gotta fucking charge something. You gotta be out there. Like, uh, there's also like, dude, when I was a kid going to Indies in high school, I thought. Everyone was a star. I mean, of course, I saw people who were on television, but everyone to me was in the ring doing something larger than life, doing like literally per- performing my childhood dream. So everybody was a star to me. Like I would like the the nerdy marking outness that I had just to meet you know anyone was like holy shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So you can't. You have to take a step back, you know, and realize that you know. Like I said, there will be those lonely Virgil moments, but you got to get over yourself. Yeah, I mean, Chris Gorkak says bring a stack of eight by tens easy, but that's the thing too. Like I think Willow was saying that like she was coming from somewhere and really whatever, but she like made sure that she went and printed some out. I I guarantee you, her and Chris made some some great money, and that was just by printing eight by tens. It's not like Willow had action figures and um, okay, yeah, it doesn't have to be a full spread. Heck. Yeah, exactly. And I say this all the time: if fucking we went on Shark Tank and told them our margins on eight by tens. They would lose their fucking minds. <laughs> if you do it correctly, you can get lose you can their get minds. They've never for, margins for, have never been on a show like that before. You get they lose their if minds. If you do it correctly, you can get eight by tens for less than seventy five cents. Okay, and now I charge fucking thirty bucks, forty at conventions. You can charge five bucks, and still that margin is insane. <laughs> yeah, true. Insane. There's no from seventy five cents to five bucks. That's nuts. CPA. Right? I'm not saying charges it's a, for well, I can't charge twenty. We'll charge fucking five. 
I don't give a fuck. Yeah. CPA's got some good prices. All right. Woo, that was a long one. Oh, that, Mark. Chaz Brown. At downtown Chaz Brown. He says, uh, what kind of deal did Matt Cardona have to make with Facebook to get his page back? Does it include posting random videos every day? <laughs> yeah, you might need to explain this. <laughs> Um. So, so first so of all, I, I, back. I don't even know if I follow you because I've never seen it. That someone screenshot this week, and I was like, "What? I don't. I don't. Is so, that? Well, well. First of all, Matt and I had a joke on the MC True Long Island story where every episode he begged somebody from Facebook to help him to get his his Facebook page back that he had or whatever the hell, or to combine his pages. I think that's what he's referencing. I never. I was, long story. I was never able to do it. Right. Here's what happened. So when my YouTube show starts. I started a fucking Facebook page. That's the one I currently use now. Where I'd always say, like, like me on Facebook, blah, blah, blah. But after I start the <laughs> after I start the YouTube show, this is when WWE like makes Facebook pages for everybody. So when fans are ta- going to like me on Facebook, they type in Zack Ryder, of course they go they like the official WWE one, which I get it, totally fine. So I don't even know how many followers that had, maybe over a million. And then I get fired, and that page like disappeared. Even though I convinced someone throughout the years to give me access to it, I didn't have like ownership of it. If that makes sense, so like yep. WWE took it down. So okay. like it's still there, like in the back end. If I were ever to go back, they'd just like turn it back on, you know. Oh mm-hmm. right. But I lost all. I I have no access to that, and I know that there is money to be made on Facebook. So I've been trying for so long to like re kind of brand my my old facebook and like there's a fan page that gave me access who has way more followers i was trying to combine those long story short couldn't do it so i said fuck it i'm just gonna start basically from scratch with, with like the forty thousand followers i'm just gonna rebuild it up post like a motherfucker so i'm able to get it monetized which i did and then i was approached by uh somebody who knew somebody who has a company where they like put those ads on those videos and they're kind of like ads and just get you money so essentially, like just ads, mm. those videos. So nothing to do with wrestling or you or your brand or whatever. They're just right, up there. right. Well, you right. you posted like a prank video the other day. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm not posting it. It's like it's all, it's not an ad, right? It's just like yeah. a video, like a viral type video that they hope gets shared or a lot of views. Yeah, I, I get it for sure. But I look I, at it as like it. it's like it's like an ad, pretty much. You right. know. It's there just funny go. because I know you're not sitting there watching the top five uh, prank videos or whatever, yeah. and then. <laughs> but it's like it, it, I, it. you know, I equate it to watching us on YouTube, and an ad pops up. That's what it is. Sure. Maybe you guys can help me with this. I haven't done much research into it, but I keep getting charged nineteen ninety nine a month from Meta. That's either Facebook or uh, Instagram. But what for? What? We, I, I don't know. What could that possibly be, though? Nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, it keeps going every month. I get uh, past two months. I've got three months, maybe. I didn't even look up what Meta was. That's how I even realized that it was coming from that. But I don't know what it's for. Well, how could it happen? Your verification, Mike Small. No, that was a one time thing on Twitter. That's Twitter, and that's not Meta. Yeah. Hmm, that's interesting. I don't know. Great, not much help. All right, I figured I was just a dummy, but I still am a dummy. But whatever. All right. Well, great questions, guys. Mike Small says, do you have a VR? VR Troopers from uh, <laughs> from the mid-90s? No. <laughs> All right. Let's go to some good housekeeping. All right, guys, good housekeeping, youtube.com slash major WF pod. We got that toy Hee-hoo! video up right now. The podcast is every single Saturday. Guys, we know we owe you that Matt and Brian, the Zach and Kurt incarnation of domination. What do you guys, let's try, maybe in April we try to film the, the Zach and Kurt? I mean, we got to yeah. sit and crunch calendar dates here. I mean, that's not a quick one, you know? That's not a quick one. It's a project. That's actually, believe it or not, probably going to be shorter than the Matt Bryan one. <laughs> somebody said, speaking of the Matt and Bryan thing, somebody did leave kind of a little nasty comment uh, that I know About that? 
about uh, how we can do all these bonus episodes and blah, 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 and all these extra things, but we can't do the Matt and Brian that we promised our YouTube subscribers. Well, I will say this. It's like a setup. It's like a shoot. It's like not... Well, it's yes, like but just showing up somewhere and using your phone. First like of all, already... but for, let me just say this: we should do it. No, I'm <laughs> yes. not saying that at all. I'm just saying that's yeah. why it's not fast. It's like yes, it's but on be a priority like, list, let's do it today, four boys. or five hours of our time to shoot this at a right. at a at a shot. Like, yeah, it's a big boy. It's a big it's boy. Taking on every figure, yeah. fucking reviewing every figure. It's not as easy as you, it's not. You know, we're not reading off a of fucking Google list. We could, but that's not what you guys want. You want the full fucking. Get out each figure, analyze it. We're gonna do it right, and we apologize that that you know it's taking longer than it should have. But right. we're gonna get but, it to you. Don't worry. But but my thing is the bonus episodes are priority one because it's a subscription service and people pay actual money for it, and right. we have to deliver those no matter what first, right? So unfortunately, the free one is lower on the great thing. point as well. Yes. Yeah. I would love to to shoot the uh, the Zach and Kurt in April. Let's shoot for that. Of course, seven. we're gonna have a Square Circle Expo, WrestleMania. Vlog. <laughs> Probably gonna do a WrestleCon vlog, maybe Definitely. behind the scenes eighteen vlog. Definitely, we have a vlog scheduled for potentially. We have to one be shot that, there. a big hunt that we're doing. Yeah. Uh, vlog Mania Week. Um, D Freedom is working on a secret project for us, which is gonna come. Well, when it comes, it comes. But I think it's going to be really, really cool. Something new that we're starting uh, that D Freedom's helping us out with. I don't even know if Brian knows about it, but <laughs> yeah, we're working does. on it. He was in the chat. He was in the chat. Okay. Do you see Brian's face, Mark? Wait, I was he knows. It again? I, mean, I wasn't. Nothing. Moving uh, on. Moving on. ProWrestlingTees.com oh slash Major W Pod. Get your podcast merch over on Pro Wrestling Tees. MajorPodMerge.com. Get your Major Pod merge over there. Don't know if there's anything really on there. Maybe some extra live show stuff over there on uh, MajorPodMerge.com. Guys, do you guys want like, I know it's weird because we have our own toy line now, but do you guys want like some old school stuff like pins or foam items? Like let us know. We'll fucking make some more stuff. Just let us know. MajorBendies.com. Of course, the big rubber guys. Major Bendies. Check those out. MajorBendies.com. If you want to advertise your product or service, email us. Major podcast at gmail.com. What not every Monday, Brian and I, we fucking auction off some ring gear, signed figures, awesome stuff. I've been uh, deep diving into my old school 80s and 90s like memorabilia merchandise stuff. Some really odd shit in there. Today I sold some WrestleMania 20 glasses. 20 years old, those glasses. What? Sunglasses. Glasses. Wow. Some weird shit I got. And Mark, he's promising to come back soon. I, I My account was accepted. Yes. Return of the mark. I'm approved, but I have to do onboarding. And I just texted the guy today. I said, can I not do the onboarding? What's the onboarding? What's I, on? You guys didn't have to do it. Oh, the what meeting? Mean? Yeah, you have to do like a meeting, which we did years ago or whatever. Steph, that Steph had to do that. Yeah. I, I, I'm asking to skip it. Oh. Mm. Interesting. Uh, plugs this week. Guys, I'm going to New York City Thursday. Me and Chelsea go to the Ghostbusters premiere. In New York City. No, tell the people what you're really doing. That's what we're doing. You set up a private signing with Bob Cardona. Well, I'm also doing that. <laughs> I knew it. Do it. I'm a- he's doing a pro Bob's doing it so famous, he's doing his first private. I'm also, <laughs> he's doing, also doing private. a private sign with Bob Cardona. Unreal. That's also true. That's also going down uh, this week. But then I'm going to fucking Iowa to wrestle Paul. Walter Hauser, the well, that's, indie that's the, god. Is that uh, Sammy Callahan becoming, Championship Wrestling? What's that? Sammy Callahan Championship Wrestling? Yep. Yeah, Pro Wrestling Revolver, the indie god, will become the Emmy god. And you know what? Have you seen what Paul Walter Hauser did? He just got the whole cast to insult me. What? Daniel LaRusso insulted me. Whoa. What? You didn't see this? Is, no. no. Can we, D, can we play this? Hold on. I, I can pull up your Instagram. Is it on your Instagram? It's on my Instagram. I didn't see right, this at all. The whole cast, the Karate Kid Cobra Kai, insulted me. Damn. It's fucking bullshit. These are my heroes, guys I looked up to. And then Paul Walter Hauser has the audacity to have these, these idols of mine insult me. I'm insulted by that. Oh, my God. Here it is. All right. Hold on a second. Uh, all right. 
bear with me here. We are going to present this. Share screen, Macardona. Okay, and then make sure the audio is on. Billy, what do you think of Matt Cardona? Matt Cardona. Matt Cardona? Matt Cardona. Oh, yeah, isn't he the indie geek? The t-shirt guy? Without, like, five minutes in my dojo. What is this finishing move? Calling his mother? Yeah, no. I'm going all in on Hauser. Matt Cardona, how do you like that? One of your favorite shows, Cobra Kai. One of your favorite movies, the Karate Kid series. And here I am getting the approval of all of your heroes. You see, there's a difference between being in business for yourself and being a team player. You, Matt Cardona, are in this clearly for yourself. I am an actor, but rest assured, I'm part of a stable Every time I show up, I am a team player. I support my fellow actors and crew, and I am not just in it for me. I am in it for we. So on March the 16th in Clive, Iowa, just know that what I lack in experience, I gain in we. Don't know what that means. You're going to find out. Bye, Indy Dick. I'm going to take that fucking Emmy Award after I beat him. I'm going to fucking shine it up, spit on it, and shove it straight up his fat ass. Calls me the Indy Dick. Are you serious, bro? This yeah, I'm, motherfucker. I'm concerned for you. I feel like you're going to get your ass kicked by that whole cast. And me and Mark have to show up to Clive, Iowa. <laughs> Hold on. Is there a Delta Lounge in Clive, Iowa? Because there's going to be some discrepancies know, here with Mark's I mean, travel. SDL will yeah, be there. I can't, I can't go unless there's... You need a lawyer. You need Steph. You need your tag team partner. You need. You might need a need midget. Belts, you need belts to hit people in the face with. You might yeah, need well, a heat. Hey, I got one now. There. We've got this covered. There's no way that, that Sammy got the, the Cobra Kai cast to give him a brother deal. There's no way I'm going to be there. <laughs> All right. So don't, uh, rest assured, right. I I have nothing to worry about. It'll be Rich Swan and like no a one's got his back. All right. No <laughs> one's got his back, and I'm gonna raise the Emmy and the Slammy in victory afterwards. We should have watched Ooh. Karate Kid this month. <laughs> I'd be really itchy to get those figures, though. To be honest, fuck. That one I what else do you guys got this don't week? have to rewatch. I have that pretty vivid memory of that. I have a very fun, very easy home game weekend. It's my return to the big event. Long Island, New York, Suffolk Credit Union, Arena, Brentwood, New York, Action Pack, Stacy Keebler in the house, Kevin Von Eric, Justin Thunder Liger, Paul White, Mark's friend from catering, Mandy Rose, Tori Wilson. This thing is loaded. Tom Glavin from the Mets. Oh. Uh, I'll be uh, with Golden Ring Collectibles and Platinum Max Caster. And I will be there with my tag team championship taking photos for the very first time. And Max will have his uh, AEW figures for oh, sale. Oh, that's a design. cool photo op. Yeah. And actually, he'll have his title as well. So it's kind of a dual photo table of titles. Yeah. Wow. That's wow. cool. This thing's loaded. Jerry the King Lawler, Perry Saturn, D. Malenko, Nidia, Don Marie. Chuck Lydia. Palumbo. Chuck Palumbo I haven't seen in 15 years. We stopped by Lee Palumbo, Kurt Angle. If, we went up to, if I went up to Chuck Palumbo, he'd know who I was. I'm wondering if he's going to remember me. But we also, a lot of those guys I give a pass, not that their memory's bad, just we were like legit children. And now we're right, right. And we were like men, jabronis. So it's a little different. <laughs> Dreamer, Terry Reynolds, my girl Francine in the house. Pretty cool. Well, Brian, that sounds like a big event. Oh, the lineup. <laughs> It's quite the big event. <laughs> we used to say, Clive, what we, Iowa. What do we used to say? Oh, the fuck, the fuck the big event. We've come a long way, Broski. Oh, oh yeah, wow, well, Brian. Remember he had a, a oh my like god, issue? Broski went they, mad that one time. They put him in a hallway. He was very <laughs> upset. <laughs> no, that's not what happened. I, I'm getting it uh, mixed up. There was one that you uh, had to stay. You had to go. In a no, hallway. they wouldn't let me in. So I fucking, I just showed up, and then he tried to get me you to Virgil give him money. The, the he said, fuck no. <laughs> you Virgil did. Uh, hey, AEW Big Business is uh, in Boston on Wednesday, but if you're listening to this on Friday, it happened. And then um, Collision is in Ottawa, which there's such terrible flights, I'm driving. I'm going to drive the six hours from home to Ottawa, Canada. Oh, I guess that is doable. Huh? Was like, yeah, oh. it was like going to be three flights or I drive. 
So <laughs> that's when you gotta gotta give up. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I don't mind the driving. I'm going to listen to some audio books. It'll be great. It'll be a nice little trip. Bro, I hate fucking driving. I found a new gym that I've been going to in Orlando. It's like 33 minutes away from my house, and it's fucking misery. See, now, here's the thing. Six-hour drive to work rather than a six-hour flight, I'll, I will do the drive. A 33-minute to the gym, too long. Too fucking long. You just want to get to the goddamn gym. I know, That's an but hour of same time LA out of your fitness. life. For seven years, and also, this is like a bodybuilding gym, and it's fucking empty and has great equipment. And Broski doesn't have kids or anything. They're like, yeah. what's the rush? He doesn't have time to shit, well, and he's gonna no. waste an hour of his part life. Of it is not time to shit is him working out, right? I so guess that's like, that's like Moose just chilling. You know where he lives now in Oklahoma. Like, he works out twice a day. Like, I'm like I can barely get my one shitty forty five minute <laughs> workout in. Like, how are you working out twice a day? Like, and that's. Just because there's no time. It's just, uh, yeah. you know. And the commute is walking to my garage. <laughs> in my in my new house, I think I should build some sort of just-in-case gym. Yeah, I don't know why. You're so dependent on that. I don't know why you wouldn't. Like, you because I don't lifestyle. want, like, I need, like, certain, like, I need, like, special things. Oh, you know, yeah, of like, course, dude. Trust but me. But you just get those special things. Maybe in this <clears> bigger <throat> garage where if I'm just, if I'm getting this new house, I'm spending my fucking life savings anyway i might as well you know i need like a pit shark you know for legs you know something like that you know (laughs) you know but if you're just getting a just in case you you just you know i think when my kids are older and less dependent on me i'll get like a real gym membership just to have like a routine and something to do and going back to the gym was the best thing i ever did it's it's helped me like change focus and stuff but i still will occasionally like work out in my garage if i can't make the 15 minute drive back and forth (laughs) See, I also have like a community gym, which I kind of count as my garage gym. So if I'm ever in like a crunch, oh yeah, I just go. It's like two minutes away, and it's got all the bare bones that the things I would put in my garage gym anyway. You know, right? Oh yeah. yeah. So why would yeah? Yeah, that right. makes sense. So, but really, my really new really house is 20, like in the 20, middle of fucking nowhere. Twenty four seven. It's twenty four seven. Oh, yeah. so you don't need yeah. I don't. Yeah. What am I gonna get? Fucking. Tr- I got stuff during the pandemic, but it's like. BS, you know. Yeah. When well, Nice has this uh, fucking full ass gym in his garage, like, full, but he still goes. He, to the Mr. Pierce has a full. Mi- Mr. Pierce is a, a pit shark in his gym, dude. Some oh, of, wow. I mean, Ey has a ridiculous one. Bobby Rude, there's some banger ones. Tj, oh, t- Tj, I, was say, say, I see his videos. He's unbelievable. That's one. what I should do. I should get like me, like how Tj has like the Heart Foundation, like Air Force. I was watching it, like me, you, uh, fucking like SDL, no swaggle. Ch- you know, Chelsea getting hit in the head with a belt. Hey guys, I'll tell you right now. Accident. You see that shirt with with the rock slapping Cody? I'm working on a little shirt with me hitting SDL instead of like <laughs> it says like "Oops," you know. <laughs> oh my god, <sighs> that's pretty great. It's top seller for us, like these. Yeah. <sighs> Probably e cruises. Actually. I am not working out in my undies anymore. No. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not. Oh yeah, what happened to your like Mark? nervous breakdown? Uh, AW hotel workouts well i i work uh, i'm i travel on the weekend so i work out monday tuesday wednesday thursday uh, friday true, at, yeah. at the actual gym and then i don't need to work out on tv days <laughs> dude this uh tna this week i'm i'm a hotel gym guy 90 percent of the time because it's just i know i hate looking up where to go we're getting and doing mm. doing that shit so i go down it's it's probably the size of my room like you guys have been in my 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 toy room yeah. There's like a, br- a broken treadmill, two ellipticals, and oh. this shitty little thing of weights. And it had like Ziggler, John Schuyler, Eddie Edwards, Dana Brown. I was like, fuck this, man. I was on the treadmill <laughs> for like five minutes and just stormed out. It was just so did you, just, even, did you go do an underwear Peloton workout? I couldn't even room? like put my leg up to stretch. Or something. It was pointless. <laughs> That's when you got to go put on the Peloton in your room, I was in your defeated. underwear. It was over. I don't do All Pelotons, right. bro. All right. We're out. Pelotons. We're out of time. Out of time. Peace. One, two, three. I'll be back, Jack. Join the community at majormarks.com and get access to exclusive content, behind the scenes footage, and become a member of the Major family. You get bonus episodes on our careers, wrestling figure history, and exclusive interviews with our friends and legends in the business each month. You also get early access to YouTube videos and, of course, the weekly podcast ad-free and breaking news updates. Brand new shows featuring... Come on! Oh, baby. And you. Each month, you can interview someone in the wrestling business with the Captain's Log. 
Also, buy, sell, and trade in our exclusive Facebook community where people have become friends in real life. Certain memberships include merch like monthly trading cards and quarterly mystery gifts. Become a major mark and join MajorMarks.com today.